Are we live yet? Are we live yet? Are we live yet? Are we live yet? Oh no, that's what not what they say the kid is. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How much longer do we have to go till we get there? In other words, is how much longer do we have to wait till the stream starts? So I'm here. Let's me pull over the chat and make sure I have I need. Oh, and we have Scottzilla that joined. I was just about to say nobody's in with me yet, but Scottzilla just joined in just in time. Hey there. Hey. I'm going to get the chat. I wasn't going to leave you hanging. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate it. So lonely when I'm uh, alone here. I was going to tell you last time, uh, I tried copying the link from Facebook. And it gives me the whole Facebook URL instead of just the Hangout URL. So I could email it to myself. So I really appreciate you emailing me the links. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought I put you last week on the email, but my email list is actually on my other computer and not uh, on this one. I have to put it on my Google Drive. So <laughs> yeah. I'm using my smaller laptop today. <laughs> and now let me check a couple things out before I start. Oh, we have Green Frog that just came in. Hey, Phil Corsi, how are you doing? James Swift, welcome in. And the Shepherd of Fire, don't know if you're still there, but welcome in. Evening, guys. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. It's good. So I can almost walk again. Back up for you. It's what? terrible weather in here. I have the fan on. It's what to see what it is in my garage right now. Oh, I got the temperature to come down a couple of degrees. It's 76 now. But a little while ago, man, some clouds blew in. I could see the rain coming, but it never really made it here. But it looked like we were going to get some ugly rain. Cool. Of course, I washed my car. That's probably why. Cool. Hey, it looks like Tony got his 114th scale, uh, scale car in the one he ordered. The TA Reflex 14B. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, i got to well, keep an eye on his channel now, don't I? Maybe he's going to show us. That would be awesome. Uh, Scottzilla, um, not Scottzilla, Tony from CCXRC messaged me this week, and uh, he wanted to talk about a small-scale format of a uh, an RC. It's a very tiny one. Um, yeah. And also, I want to talk about the big one that I basically put a video up on my YouTube channel talking about it, the big monster truck with solid axle. Did you order yours yet? If I ordered my, my <laughs> wife would kill me. You can buy a used car for that price, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. Or a motorcycle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I'd really love to get myself a Goldwing. That was that's always been a uh, a dream of mine of having a Goldwing. But uh, yeah, uh, don't know how many motorcycle rides I'm going to go on anymore after that. I almost lost my leg in an accident. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It wasn't my fault, but still, either way, that's why they call them accidents. <laughs> you got to really watch those cars. Yeah. I got, sure an HP, do. I got an HP camera. It's 720p. It's supposed to be 30, but I don't know. I get a lot of kind of not lag, but it's kind of blurry when yeah. I move. It's very like low. Slow, slow frame rate of some kind going on there. Yeah, it's a frame rate or something. It's very odd. Uh, but when I use my old Logitech, now it's okay. But the video, the quality is not as good as the other one, but it's not bad. Maybe it just needs a swift kick in the... <clears throat> yeah, <it> needs something. <laughs> so Tony wanted to talk about that um, small scale, so we'll wait till he gets in to talk about that one. Uh, no, let's start talk. without him. Let's, let's make him get on early. Oh. 
<laughs> there you heard it from the panel, uh, Tony. We're going to have to start without you. And uh, <laughs> well, he's a pro now. He's got a bunch of Mimi Z's. He's got a bunch of other ones. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff. Let me open up a couple pages here. Oh, and I saw something nice from Proline that came out. That's coming out on my email. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. And talk about Tamiya. Just opening up some pages here. So any race this weekend? Yes. And I think I might be able to bend over and pick up my car. You think? I, I threw my back out almost two weeks ago. I didn't do anything. I just woke up that way and I haven't been able to walk. <laughs> like muscle? <laughs> muscle issue? Yeah. So I didn't have any extra activities. It just woke up that way. Gotcha. Tried so heating pads, uh, ibuprofens. I tried, you know, all your regular stuff. But even one of those oh, patches, yeah. I didn't do nothing. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. So those are little cars. There, there's the little cars. Do you see them? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll talk about them later. Yeah, little dirt track cars. We'll talk about them later. That was just a sneak preview before Tony gets here. Did you have time to have a good look at them? <laughs> oh yeah. They're kind of cool. Um, let me go to Primal RC. So the big uh, the video I did last week it was just before I left on Friday uh, from work, <clears throat> and I did that work with the video on YouTube and all that from Primal RC. They got that big kick-ass monster truck that they made, and uh, if you go on their website, it's. Kind of cool, and they do have it listed on their website right now. They do drag racing also, but it's basically primalrc.com. And they have gas um, dragster, and they do have a version of it that's actually uh, electric, if you want to convert it with electric, a big electric motor. So they do have the Raminator monster truck on their website right now with pricing and all that. And um, the specs are a little bit different than what they posted on the video, but not by much, only by an inch. Uh, so here's a pre-order countdown. There's 182 days left. And if you order it now, you actually save some money. You save $200 by ordering it now. <clears throat> I looked so for it on have... Amazon. I couldn't find it. You couldn't find it. I have an Amazon Amazon card, card you know. <laughs> I need a lot of Amazon cards. <laughs> Just imagine the shipping cost on that thing. Holy cow. Yeah. What, what I find weird is that some people have been posting some comments, which is okay, but uh, posting comments saying, uh, well, my what does it do that my X-Max can't do? Well, nothing really. It's just it's a solid axle monster truck. It reacts differently than your X Max would. It's it's completely different beast. It it uh, yes, it won't jump as high, but it's sure as hell is going to be cool when it does. It, it's a different beast altogether. I don't want to be anywhere near it if it's a bad landing. I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah, imagine that thing hitting you like it's eighty pound hitting you like it would be crazy. It's like when I went out to try to film that drag race thing that one time, I didn't go anywhere near that finish line because those guys were all over the place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll you're stand way to get behind ready to the starting line. <laughs> yeah. It should be safe back there, maybe. So they do have pop-ups here. If you click on it, 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 it tells you some... Uh, it should tell me some different stuff of the drive line. Okay. Well, it brings it up at the back, I guess. Yeah, frame, tires, not zoomed in, needs to be zoomed in. 
11, Charlie was telling me 10 units will help my back, but I don't know what 10 unit is. Mm -hmm. Must be something for your back, but I haven't heard of it. Oh, the VA. I can go see those guys. Which guys? The VA. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was going to say maybe it's something through the military. Hmm. Well, hopefully it'll be gone by this weekend when I go racing and I won't have to go through electroshock therapy. <laughs> oh, electro stem? Electro stem therapy? Where they yeah, do little 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 twitches in your back? Yeah. Uh -huh. It works pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I used to get it in college. So it looks like Tony just, just makes your muscles also. twitch. Tony threw his back out. Maybe it was because he was lifting the primal out of his car to put it in his garage. I think it was the one fourteenth associated. Oh yes. <laughs> right. Picked it up wrong. <laughs> Down you go. So my boss wants to invest my boss wants to invest in a non profit organization. So I thought maybe I should start a non profit organization. There you go. Yeah. I'm thinking of calling it um How about uh, RC Club. Carpet Racing for Kids. Yeah, exactly. Carpet racing for kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. At the school here, and uh, we have an old folks home. Uh, the old pl old people can actually come also and uh, and race. Like every time I give a, a remote control to an adult, the eyes just like light up, and they go, "This is cool. This is neat." Imagine if you could just do it for free, uh, and and just come to the racetrack. You learn how to race, and you just have some fun. So basically, what I need is is a timing system. And a bunch of cars. So it's either going to be 124th scale or 116th scale, like the drama does. Um, like something small, not too fast. Uh, you can limit the speed also by putting a volt regulator in there for the kids when they're learning. But it'd be great for them. You can even have some workshop to actually tell them how to, uh, how to fix their RC and how to take care of them. So that'd be cool. Tony was saying he didn't First get the uh, invite. Oh, well, that's Tony's fault. I, I sent an email out, but he's not on the email list. He didn't give me his email. Ruh -roh. Uh oh. Jackson in the house. Jack. Put that out. I put the link in the, con in the description oh. here. Try that if that okay. works. If not, I'll send you a, a message on Messenger. I guess I can do that. He's not on the email list, but I guess I do have him on Messenger. With his new account. He's got a new account called Tony CCXRC. New Facebook account. Never heard of it. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> he's got a Tony CC, but he's also got a Tony CCXRC. I guess a lot of people were asking him to be friend. I should have did the same thing. I got a lot of people. I wanted to keep my RC and my family separate, but it's been too much, too many people. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Epic RC Video Production. Jack, how you doing? I've been trying to get a hold of Dave. I did talk to him quickly, and uh, he said he's going to have some fun with uh, old, old Black Jack at your place, uh, at his place, I mean. So hopefully he's going to do some cool videos with that. I saw him. Was that his summit he was hiding behind in that picture of Jack's? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Looked like it with the front bumper. Picture of Jack. Oh, there's Mr. Tony C. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What's going on, guys? Sorry about that. I needed this little dongle thing to hook up my uh, webcam, but I, I couldn't eject my hard drive from it until it finished importing some stuff. Ah, just to plug it. Plug <laughs> it while it's writing on the drive. Right? Nah. <laughs> I've had too many drives go bad because of that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, 
I just cool. lost a lot of myself. Yeah. All, all my stuff on it. <clears throat> yeah. And as, as you were saying, I threw my back out. We've got that kitchen rhino going, and I was doing all those cabinets. And then it's silly. I just a cardboard box had this plastic in it. I was trying to get in the dumpster and shake out because we're going to burn all the boxes. And it wouldn't come out because the plastic just sticking. So I'm just shaking. And then eventually I'm like, ah. And uh, yep. it wasn't Sounds bad. Um, I went to my kid's school to do like a – they have dads come in and help patrol. And I pushed all the kids on the swing and then went to run with them. And third step into the run, I was like, like <laughs> about hit the ground. Felt like the muscle was pinched between something or like a nerve. It was extreme pain. But, yeah. Anyway, small RC's tank. You got small it. Small RC's. I got the big ready, man. I saw you had it ready. I was watching and listening. I just couldn't. And then it took me forever to go over your Facebook and look for links and everything. Yeah, I did not do. post it on Facebook today. I don't know why, but it's not on Facebook and it's not on uh, Google Plus. I'm I'm being lazy. Yeah, you tell me something I already know. <laughs> <laughs> Philco RC says he's reached 400 subs. So guys, go to Philco RC. He's got a whole bunch of videos there, having fun on the uh, with his buggies and uh, go check it out. Philco RC. Going on, Jack. James Swift. And he's got a man truck also. It's kind of cool. He put a big spoiler at the back. Uh, Tony, you should see that. I saw it, and I saw he was running on 3S, too. Yeah. Very fast. Very hey, fast. So let's open up. Ooh, RC Girl just got the new Can-Am. Hopefully somebody will do run videos with them soon. Oh, yeah? I keep looking for run videos of those things. What scale was that thing again? It was small, right? 118th, right? 118th, yeah. It looks cool, though. You're talking the can -Am? Yeah, 116th, 118th. Yeah. Whatever the uh, Yeti was. Spectrum transmitter. Yeah. The Yeti Junior. Yeah. So, yeah, Tony, send me this little link. One R... One uh, RC dash racing dot com. Yeah. So that's the address for this. One RC dash RC uh, uh, racing dot com. Phil saying it's 18th scale. It is 18th scale. Yep. They're sprint cars. And the price on them ready to run is pretty sweet for how much detail. They got metal cages on them. You can see it around the edges of it. Yeah, from it's actually metal. metal. I, saw, I saw an unboxing of it. It was kind of cool. Yeah, I haven't seen those ones actually racing or running, but I've seen those ones where they were racing. It's probably a lot more durable without that fin because those okay. guys were slamming into each other. <laughs> but, yeah, you can race them in a garage, you know. Um you sure the kit is metal and not plastic? I'm not sure. No, it's metal. I watched the video of a guy unboxing it. Okay. Well, I, I know the cage here on the bottom here. Right. That is metal. Okay. Plastic. And the top cage here, the black one, I think that's in plastic. Yeah, that's plastic. Uh, but they got a little driver in metal. there. There's a front bumper in metal. Yep. What oh, brand are those again? Hey. One RC. One, one RC racing.com. I'll put the link uh, in the chat. They run a little brushless motor, too. Really? Yep. yep. They look cool. Oh, they're really cool. The, you know, the control on them looks insane. Uh, and, you know, you get people doing an oval because that's what they are. They're oval. There yeah. you go. You know, just <clears throat> I saw some guys had a garage set up. This is in a strip mall or in a mall. This setup. They just got a little racetrack in a mall. Yeah, that's what they did that day. They had it in the mall. And I guess they were using the uh, IR uh, track uh, for laps because, see, they, they, they have a little bar over the top. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just trying to find out if they're using Easy Lap or what they're using because the ones for Kyosho are super cheap. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the Kyosho ones are like 30 bucks. Mm. Yeah, but the, 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 the module, they're pretty much all about the same price. Well, yeah, it's true. Mine is about 80 bucks. 
but yeah. uh, my lap. But what's cost expensive is the software and actually the uh, the loop and all the rest of the stuff for. Well, it. you can buy the the Easy Lap one uh, for Kyosho is three hundred bucks for the setup with software, and you get I think four of the transponders. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it actually seemed somewhat affordable if somebody's looking to start up a race thing. You know, for yeah. an RC car and get yourself a little uh, system. Um, yeah. just get some PVC like that and you're good to go. Are they running Jeez. on foam rubber? That looks like it's carpet in a mall in a store, yeah. A non pile carpet, they call it there. They, mm -hmm. they have a, a list of what parts to use, even the carpet, the kind of carpet to get. You're not going to be drifting around the corners on carpet, that's for sure. No, nope. right? But the, the, <laughs> another video I saw of this, they had it on concrete, so. You can race them on anything. But more mm. grip on carpet. I remember our local uh, stock car track had the outlaws come down, the sprint cars. Mm -hmm. Man, that was so awesome. They lined up four wide. They could barely fit in the lane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're sideways around every corner. Yeah. I love watching Slide sprint around. cars. And they're doing 80 laps, right? I think is what they're doing. Oh, wow. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've watched any. Well, this one, I think, I at think the beginning of the video, they said 80 lap. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? That's a small battery in there, too, eh? Yeah. They were saying something about a 25 they are going to break or something. I don't know what it was or something. I don't remember it exactly. I, I cut away to go look at unboxing. Take a break or take a break. Well, it probably doesn't take them long to get around that track. Let's see. One minute, six, eight, yeah. Three, I mean, they'll hit 80 pretty four, quick. Seven, like five, six seconds, probably. Anyway, it just seems fun. Anything we can race is just kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Definitely. to be able to just set it up in a parking lot or whatever, you know, what have they got, like 20 pieces of uh, board around the edge of it? See, 179 yeah. US ready to run. That's without the uh, without the top. But you can actually get the one that looks like a sprint car, which is a heck of a lot nicer Here's for 199 people. Yep. You got two wings. Anyway, they just looked really cool. When when I figured what we were paying for the Kyoshos and everything, and then I saw these, I'm like, man, that's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Good alternative. And, I mean, the Kyosho, those guys get zipping and, you know, all the technical side of it makes it a little bit harder for people to get in. You're just getting lapped all the time. This just seems, you know, you're going in an oval. Makes it a little bit easier to, to get into it and not worry about being crashed all the time. Well, when I first started racing 18 scale indoors, I kind of went just to kind of get in with the group of the racers because I knew they did it on Thursday nights. And I didn't think anything of it, but man, it was so intense. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect it to be so intense. Anyway, for for the cost, it seems pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, Earl. Uh, Earl uh, got home today, and uh, his dog got into a fight with other dogs. Well, other of his dogs. So there's one that's critically injured. So mm -hmm. take care of your dog, bud. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, the bummer, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. he went to the doctor. He's got a little dog and, uh, start trouble. He went to the doctors and left the dogs alone. But he did say, like, he checked the doors. They were separate. They were in their both different places so doors were locked but when you came back a door a do one of the dog got out and started attacking the other one so it's not mm. cool mm. take mm. care go we'll take care of your pups yeah, I got a little male dog I've had for a long time and he always thought he was king of the hill and then we got a German shepherd puppy and that changed real quick yeah, yeah they, right. I got to be careful, you know, because if that little dog gets too much attention, the German Shepherd will just attack him, and he won't let go. Mm. It's scary. Mm. Steve-O, what's up, man? Not much. What's going on? I like that last video. Yeah. Heck yeah. Did you break anything? No. All covered no. In snow? <laughs> <laughs> he only he only wanted us to run it with two S, so I only 
I ran it with uh, this older, let's see, this older Gen Zays to sell 4,000. I think you might have missed a couple of the cones there. I don't think you got 100% of them. Well, look, this was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're off cones and fire hydrants or trees. <laughs> Look, I told I told Buck, I said, uh, I guess I said, go set some cones up out there, grab the cones. I said, but only like five of them. I'm like, and just set it up like a dice. I'm like, you know, one, two on each side and one in the middle. He said, oh, okay, I got it, I got it. You know, because I was like, I'll come down, come around, you know, do my thing. And I get out there and there's all 20 cones or 25 <laughs> cones out there and all i see is white snow and bright ass orange dots everywhere so i was just like whatever and just gassed it and whatever i ran over i ran over <laughs> i was laughing my yeah, ass when i'm watching that <laughs> yeah so there was no there was no avoiding them they were just everywhere yeah i saw him jump right out in front of that buggy <laughs> Plus two wheel drive in the snow. It's Not like cake is put them on the ice and the wind was blowing them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was frustrating and I just gave up. Yeah, I think uh, we did the the the, solemn, the slalom challenge, but uh we didn't time it. We were just goofing off. That was pretty fun though. When you did that video, Kagan, Kagan, how many of those cones did you actually set up that day? Oh, God, yeah, I don't know how many there are. I didn't count them. But doing donuts. Anyway. Yeah, that was me doing my own donuts. Right, that was good. Uh, Sean Glamisphere came from El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time in the, uh, in, in the snow. How'd you do that animation with the map? Um, it's on iMovie. You just oh, okay. Oh, okay. you just click on it. It's like one of the transitions, and then it let, it's a, it lets you uh, type in from where to where, and it automatically does it for you. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice. Uh oh, I saw a fire hydrant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the <laughs> thing is, they push the snow from the parking lot, so. I don't think there's any way I can hit it if I'm jumping because the the snow is over top of the thing. So, so you tried? Snow... No, I didn't try. <laughs> I was if I had more batteries, uh, I would have put them in the X Max and tried to clear it. Are you doing it on purpose to hit the cones? Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it was making it like jump. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was and, definitely yeah, slinging snow everywhere, that's for sure. Yeah, Buck wanted uh, me to take the ramps out. I'm like, you got to remember, this isn't mine. Uh, he's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Because I'm like, you know, it's cold out there. I'm the first person to get it. I don't want to send it back in pieces and not let it get to the next person. <laughs> Guys, here's some pieces. Oh, look at you cleaning it down for him right now. Yeah. yeah. It's snow blasted. If it all wasn't for border, if it wasn't for border crossing and brokerage tree and all that, I'd tell you to send it to me. But I'm just scared they're going to ding us for brokerage tree or ding Full me price. for brokerage for the value of the truck, yeah, right. which I don't want to pay. Yeah. yeah, you have to do yeah. like import export. <laughs> yeah. Pain yeah. Right. So we were uh, covered in snow, our legs. And, I do. Uh, it was funny because on um, one of the clips, when I fling the snow all over me and Liam when I'm turning, you hear it in the slow motion. You can hear me, it, it just sounds like a, a monster. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that, I, we ran this one, and then we ran the SMT-10 uh, on another video I got to make. And then I let Buck run my TRX4, which I forgot. I never even ran it with the new aluminum B locks and uh, uh, four -wheel, RC four wheel drive mud slingers, and the new servo. So he got to test out all that, but he was one handed driving and uh, filming. And uh, 
uh, I put three S in that uh, SMT tent and didn't, you know, didn't change anything. It was pretty fun in the snow. I yeah. thought it was going to be a lot slower than it was because a lot of people say how, oh, they're not fun out the box. I had fun with it out the box. It wasn't bad. Tony's one of those so, people, I think. Yeah, it's pretty lame out of the box. <laughs> I mean, in the snow, I was, I was jumping it up, jumping around and so, so it wasn't too bad. I put it on 3S and it could barely jump over my um, my black ramps. Yeah, yeah, like it barely just go over it and drop. Really? Yeah. I don't so know, maybe it seemed faster because it was in the snow. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Tony, why don't you show us what you got in your hands? It's a small car. Oh, yeah. The uh, Team Associated Reflex 14B oh. came in the mail. You ordered it last week when we were on there. So this is the 114th. This is the 118th. It's more obvious when they're back to back, but it's quite a bit bigger when you actually are looking at it in person. It doesn't look as big here, but it's definitely better, way better built than that is, and it's got much more ground clearance. Um, and the oil filled shocks are just so smooth. I mean, the dampening on these is insane. So, let me go this way maybe. So, they're just really soft. Cool. But, yeah, it's sweet. It's got a tiny little, uh, I don't even know the size of it. I should have looked that up, but little uh, brushless motor in it. Is it got three in there? The what was that? Metal plate on the bottom? No, it's plastic. Is it plastic? You look like metal. No, it's plastic. Okay. I didn't say that on the uh, unboxing. I didn't even look at the bottom. But, yeah, it's just a plastic. Okay. But, yeah, it's tiny. I'm going to have to find out what battery I'm going to run in it. They're little short batteries. But you can see the small motor here, Reedy, 4,500 kV. Uh... 2S LiPo capable, really uh, um, ESC, and three channel uh, receiver in there. Pretty nice. I Is mean, it's an all in one nice system? system. No, it's not all in one. So you got a three channel receiver. Oh, you got okay. ESC up here. Okay. Looks waterproof based on the little covering they put on it. Yeah. I didn't even look at that because I don't really plan on running in water. But Is the motor censored or non censored? It is. Uh, Non-censored. If it's non-censored, it doesn't need to be waterproof. A non-censored mortar can go in the water. Yeah, it would more be the receiver. I don't know if that is. Yeah. Servo is well. the, the, the ESC looks pretty sealed up. And the fact that they put the little rubber on the uh, on-off switch mm -hmm. makes me think that they've at least water resistance. Oh, yeah, it says water resistant right on it. There you go. So, uh, you know, you don't want to submerge it, but... Yeah, pretty pretty cool little car. I like the size of it. You know, here's the one tenth associated, <clears throat> which doesn't have nearly as cool a paint job on it, but it's uh, quite a bit smaller. Cool. I like it. I'm jealous. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited about it. Looks like it goes about um, uh, twenty five to thirty out of the box is what I've been seeing. So, it'll be controllable. Are there uh, tire options that you can get for that? Because I know with that low seat Mini 8, you were pretty much stuck with low seat Mini 8 tires. Now, there was a guy that had ordered some off brand ones. I'll have to look because being 114th scale, I think that limits it a little bit, you know? Right. How many 114th scale cars there are? This is, I think, my first 114th. But it's a good size. You know, you're always trying to think of what you'd use something for and what would be nice and portable. And I got the buggy and, you know, traveled with it a few times. And, you know, it packs down all right. But um, this would pack a whole lot easier. Yeah, it's going to be a perfect size to go camping, that's for sure. Yeah. And if it can handle, you know, some off-road, you know, which is what it's for, but more probably off-road dirt. So that's what I'm going to have to see is what, how does it handle different terrain. 
a couple of people mentioned stripping out their spur gears, and one of the guys I was listening to his sounded awful when he was running it. So I'm curious what that is, and maybe what they you know were doing that would have caused it. But um, you know, I've stripped enough spur gears that I know it can be driver error. <laughs> So yeah, all some of them had changed out the the um the, the pinion, and so they might not have meshed it very well. Some people are asking which car it is, and I'm going to get the link and post it up on the uh, it's on the chat. So. Team Associated Reflex 14B runs 179. If you get it from Team Associated, I saw it at Tower or one of them. It was like two something two, and I don't know if that was the one that comes with the battery even, but it was definitely. Okay. Considerably more than I'd paid. So, they seem to mark everything up tower and wraps and hobbies. But they do make a version that does come with the battery and charger, and so it might be that model. Which, if it does, that's not a terrible price, actually. So right now they have one seventy nine. Yeah. Did that come with a nickel or a lipo? Nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what's the difference between a ready to run and a ready to run combo? Combo has, combo the, has the battery and the charger. Okay. Yep. I think they should be almost ready to run when they don't have a battery. Yeah, it should be. Ready to what run. What connector does that come with on the for the battery? It's a Dean's. Okay. Something else I didn't mention in the video. I was trying to get the video done so I could clear off everything and get <laughs> ready to be on here. So I forgot that. I didn't look at the bottom. I didn't mention the water resistance, so I'll have to put all that somewhere so people see it. But yeah, it is a you, right? you haven't posted the video yet, right? Yeah, but I don't feel like going back and doing it again. Oh, <laughs> Although I am wearing the microphone, I noticed still here. Yeah, I'll do it. It really, really resembles the Mini Eight. Like it's, it's almost like the Mini Eight. It looks like it jumps really well. I can't wait to run it. Like I said, I'm taking it to Ipswich because I actually think it would be a good size for there because the big cars all over jump everything. Oh, yeah. they just, you know, you don't need that much speed to jump those jumps. But the problem is that it's hard to line them up because they're meant for like a bike tire, so they're really narrow jumps. And uh, this might be able to actually do better out there. And my other team associated was, I mean, it was so tough. It took a beating there. Yeah, I'm excited about this guy. The SRC's in the chat also. RC fun diversion still there. It's got to be hard to drive from the ground at Ipswich with all those six foot tall jumps and yeah. stuff. It's really hard to drive there. I imagine it's hard to get a good view. Yeah, you can't. You can only hit one or two. Climb a tree and <laughs> climb a tree and drive up there. Yeah. You're pretty much hitting one or two, and you can't spot the landing, so you got to wait for it to come out to know. <laughs> Try doing it sitting down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. You really Rock struggled down. there, man. Didn't you say it was tough at your RC place? One of them you had to, people were standing up at the races or something? Yeah, I'm see. always right crotch right in my face. Crotch level. <laughs> Wish there was like a little, uh, little like one little step higher on that uh, driver's stand. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of kids stand on boxes, but that yeah, these guys, these guys stand on uh, like a, like a step up um, things and everything. Yeah, they bring their own little uh, steps with them. Yeah, there's already steps up there. Oh really? Maybe all of us should mail uh, Steve-O one of our uh, phone books so we can raise a seat up. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that of putting a couple different couple pads on the seat just to raise it up. Okay. A couple extra inches. I look at the comments here. I want to show you, you a red more. cat tank? Did I see you ordered a red cat, or was that somebody? Oh, you got the Gen 8. Yeah, I did order a Red Cat Gen 8, and I will be doing something cool, cool with it for we'll build. But, we'll be done this uh, year. Go ahead. Will it be done this year? Uh, probably. <laughs> right after his tractor trailer. 
Is the yeah. Scout 2 and the Gen 8 the same thing? Yeah. Okay. It is a Scout. Yeah, it is a Scout 2. Okay. I noticed a local hobby shop had them, and I started thinking, hmm, it didn't say Gen 8 on the box. It says Scout 2. Does yours come with a, bo a body tank, or is yours just a chassis? It's just a chassis kit, the one I'm getting. Cool. Oh, they're selling them like that now? That's cool. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that. What's the price yeah. on them? What's In the March. Price? 169 what? 169 American? So with no receiver, yeah. no transmitter. No electronics, just a chassis. 169. It okay. used to be 199, but it got down to 169. Me, wow. it's 230. Cool. Me, it's 229.99 for me. That's a great price. Holy cow! I have to yeah. get one just to make yeah, a blood definitely. truck or something. Yeah. So yeah. Ju just for the portal axle and the transmission and all that, like I, I saw that, I said, oh, I'm going to order it. There's a little bit of a problem though. Um, it won't be in Canada until maybe mid-March. So I still got uh, over two or three weeks to wait. And the hobby store told me, if we didn't call you, call us, because we might have to reorder it. But if they have to reorder it, well, screw that. I'm going to the U.S. Uh, in uh, April uh, 6th to the 11th. So I'll pick it up in Vegas. They have a hobby town nice. there, and I'll just make sure I order one and have one waiting for me there. Good idea. To pick up. So I'll pick it up myself, and I'll bring it back across the border. Right. Right. Put it up your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> JP Slayer says he wants to build his SCX10 into a monster truck. Cool. <clears throat> would be cool. So if you were to go... Across the border and buy a, a an RC, one. would they tax you going back to Canada? Of course. Not if they they do, because they don't say shit. Well, well, here's what they do here, because I live real close to Mexico. We get a lot of traffic from Mexico coming over and buying goods, and the parking lots are full of boxes and all kinds of garbage because they take everything out of the packaging and say they brought it with them. Yeah. That's basically what I would do too. If I go there, pick it up and come back. If I do just a drive and then come back, because there is a store here close, well, close to here. It's about, uh, there is a hobby town. It's about six to eight hour drive from me. That's mm. a long way, so. so I, I could drive there, but then you figure the gas and the time and all that. I might as well pay the $144 of tax and brokerage fee that I'm going to end up paying for it. Is that one way, six to eight hours? Yes. Wow. Oh my God. But there's other hobbies, <laughs> hobby stores close to me, but that's the closest U.S. hobby town. But they might be other hobby town, uh, hobby stores with not that name, with other names. But, uh, okay. anyways. Hmm. Yeah, we got Hobby Lobby. So I just want to show you guys real quick. We're talking about Mini 8s and your, the one you had, uh, Tony. Yep. So let's make it about me because it is my show. It is my 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 stream. <laughs> so I'm in the leaf. So I made a video a few years, four years ago. Uh, this is fun in the leaf with the original Mini 8. So just for the hell of it, I'll post the link on the side. So people can go see it if they want, but I also play it. Yeah, those things are wild. It was so fun in the lease with that thing. It looked like a little rat in the lease. <laughs> like it was going underneath the leaves. It it, it it just looked like something was and I was like going very fast. Somebody would attack you, right? <laughs> yeah. It, it, it was it was so fun. I had it on the picnic table. There's so many things, but it, it's such a small wheelbase for that. Hitting a root like that, and it was just jumping up in the air. That thing goes through rough terrain. So, Tony, yours is basically the same thing as this. So, even though you have now is going slow motion, uh, but even though it's very small, it's it's just so capable. It's just stupid. I have to agree on that one. Oh. Gabriel, how's it going? Is that Basher boy? Yeah. Yes, sir. I was just getting the Glamis over here to wipe her down because I WD forty to all the trucks after I blew them off. Yeah. Hey. So how was it, man? Good. Did you see the video? Yes, I did. 
You like it? Yes, loved it. Did an awesome job, man. Appreciate it. No problem, man. Was and, it, uh, the big was, it, was it weird to see it in the snow? Yes, actually. Man. I mean, even the glamisphere is like, huh, well, I guess it's snow. <laughs> right. So... Uh, Green Frog, hey, thanks for the compliment, man. And uh, reason why uh, I... Uh... You suck. Huh? You found the Bigfoot. You suck. Yes, I did. Why? I've been These looking for are... that thing everywhere. I can't find it anywhere. What well, I got one. You should have bought two. <laughs> Actually, here's the thing, man. Uh, I found it on an application called OfferUp. Yeah. Usually I'm always, well, not always on the site, but, you know, from, I'm often on that site. Yep. And uh, there was just a guy saying, hey, you know what, Bigfoot, $20, first come, first serve. And, you know, I I actually had to leave work. I got it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, right. $20. Good reason to leave. I feel terrible. I'm going to pee. Yeah, $20. Ready to run or did it need everything? No, no, no. We're talking about the Hot Wheels Bigfoot. Oh, okay. I was freaking uh, out. Yeah, you're great. Uh, I was going to say, PRC, I've been leaving work, love, love work too. Yeah. It's like uh, watching Supercross. You blink and you miss everything. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> buying them up and they're selling them on eBay for like 28 bucks, but you can buy them in the store for nine ninety nine at Walmart. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, the guy did like yeah, a $10 profit, and which, which is fine, you know, but I mean, overall, I just met up the guy and, and there it is. But uh, the reason why I'm bringing there Bigfoot is. is because uh, Axiomatic, I don't know if he's in here in the chat or what, but uh, he's uh, working on Gravedigger. So, you know, might as well say, hey, you know what? We got Bigfoot in the house today. Hey, so. I'm working on Max yeah, D right here. The there you go. I'll see. <laughs> yep. Clean her up. So you're going to so, call out uh... – Axial, like you did Tony the other day, or what? I've been no, I've I'll been uh, I've been trolling him. I've been uh, saying, you know, Bigfoot's number one, and this and that, and and then uh, you know how also he's in the uh, what is it, the D and D sports uh, that uh, that challenge uh, with uh, Ben Hold with on. five brick and fix it challenge. Yeah, so I said, you know what? Well, he's doing his uh, his uh, grave digger. I said, hey, you know what? Well, here's Bigfoot. Come at me, bro. <laughs> My big foot sitting right over there. That looked good. Was that on your doomsday cool. body, Tony? On the chassis, doomsday chassis? It was. It looks so really good on it. I need to get another doomsday now. Right, right. <laughs> I was going to say that lined up perfectly. Hey, so nice. You might, might want to hit up Larry's. They might have another one. They didn't. That was a shelf model that I got. Oh, it was? Yeah. Looks like I make a nice mud truck or something like that. Yeah, it'd be fun. Motor. I got one. I only ran it one time. I know. <laughs> there you go. I called you asking for yours first, and you sent me to Larry's. Yeah, because I figured the price that I would probably get for it, you might as well just get the same thing brand new. Right. Yep. Sure. And they get better shipping than deals at the store. Yeah. And yeah, they don't make them anymore. They're not available. Yeah, Steve, were you uh, surprised on how many views you were getting on that primal video video you made? Oh, I didn't even pay attention. I never look at that stuff. The Raminator? Like, yeah, I never look at that. Because I was going to post it on Friday also, but my son had a hockey game that night, and I was rushing, trying to get it, and then I had a computer problem at work, and I was looking at the time. I go, I won't have time to post it. So I said, screw that. I'll post it tonight, at, like Friday night. So then Friday night, I didn't post it. Saturday night, I didn't post it. But then Sunday, I said, okay, I got to post it. So I posted it on Sunday night. And ever since there, like, I, I, I got over 1,700 views on it. So 1,700 nice. and something. I'm going to have so, to check that video. Check and see what my views are. Uh, you got a yeah. bunch to also. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to go back and check my views and see if I have more than the 17,000 I had 10 minutes ago. <laughs> That's, That's all. <laughs> but it, it's fun because even the uh, the uh, I don't know if it's the owner, but um, Primal RC actually commented on my video, telling me thanks uh, for yeah. posting the video. I talked. Uh, I commented. Uh, 
with him on another person's video that was actually at the show and he did a video while he was at the show and uh because i talked to boda joe which is like one of the guys that's real into all that stuff and uh yeah. him and the owner of primal were there like early before it opened and uh you see it on their videos but yeah that's that monster truck is just uh crazy Hey, John. Cool. Hey, guys. Hey, John. What's up, John? Hello, hello. I guess we can't talk about him anymore. No, that's it. Yeah, I was listening that. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I know you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to win something, John is having a camera. John is having a giveaway. If you guys go to his uh, channel... There's a link there. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. what are you uh, giving away, John? So I left it. I left it open this time. I mean, I'm going to make a video probably next week or this weekend, just kind of showing some of the options of things I'll give away. But I left it open because the last time I did a giveaway, I I said here's the things, but then the people that won, I couldn't send it to them because it's like you can't send that stuff to India. So oh. I put in the in where you enter. I was like put a list of examples, but it's like I've got that the drift shark, and I've got some other uh, smaller RCs and tools and parts and tech stuff. Like it'll be, whatever. I'll just talk to whoever wins and offer them up some stuff. But you're talking to them right now. I got six entries in already. So nice. Let's make a deal here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You I know most of the stuff I got. Like one entry for the best thing. Hey, there's gonna be three winners. Is it what say? Yeah, there'll be three winners. Yeah. So there you go, Frank. You can get in on the winning streak too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then I'll go with the tech. I'll, I'll take the uh, the small camera. Nice. Yeah. You I'll take that UBR that? off your hands. Uh, hopefully, John. Will <laughs> yeah. yeah the UBR. <laughs> I want a UBR. I know. <laughs> Who do you think I was going to sell it to if I got it, Gabe? Oh, look at that hustling, huh? <laughs> Trade him for the glamus. <laughs> yeah, he wants to keep the glamus. <laughs> Bargaining already, huh? <laughs> I would just weigh the glamis and then like put something in that weighs the same amount. <laughs> bunch of parts. And then say, I, was gonna, I, was gonna, I was gonna put a bunch of spare parts in a, a box and like pieces and send it to Axiomatic bit just before I send the actual glamis. <laughs> make them take that. <laughs> Pull the fast one on them. That'd be funny. Looking right. for broken glamis parts. Send to Steve O D. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it don't even have to be glamis, just parts. Just parts, huh? <laughs> yeah, I say the rack it, it hits so hard you can't tell what's what. Ouch. <laughs> well, he would know how to put it back together. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, and I have three of them, so. And yeah. my local hobby shop has plenty of parts of them, so. <laughs> no problem. Nah, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> so, no, uh, and, uh, and uh, speaking of uh, Glamis, um, there's actually one on eBay. Um, it just the, It's just a roller. Yeah, it's, it's missing not. a wing. Um, it's missing a wing, a couple parts, but uh, it's... It's 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 really doable, you know. You can really, you know, uh, assemble that and you know, be in the road back on. What was it at last time you saw it, price wise? Actually, I I told the guy, um, I I made him an offer, but he declined uh, declined, you know, right off the bat. Uh, but he was asking three hundred at the time, and I haven't checked since. Mm. So yeah, I was listed at three hundred when I saw it last week. Yeah, and actually, and I made him an offer, and he just declined right away. So, so yes, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I definitely bid on that one. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask what it's you offered? <laughs> I, I told him two hundred, you know, two hundred okay. with uh, shipping, and he said no. And I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if if he wants maybe like two fifty, I mean. It, it's gonna require a lot of work and see the thing the only problem with that vehicle is that parts are you know becoming unavailable which is the you know the, the sad yet challenging part 
you know, for people that are barely getting to know the vehicle, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge, you know, to put it together. And that's basically what I told the guy, like, you know what? I mean, it's, it's an 80% complete chassis, you know, it needs mortar ESC, um, you know, the wing needs to be put back together. Um, you know, you need the parts for the wing and maybe, uh, exchange the, uh, the shock tower from the back because it was, it was scraped off from the back. Who knows what happened, but, uh, you know, all of that, you know, put it together. Um, it, it's, it's, it's going to cost you. <laughs> I got a, so. a project buck dumped in my lap. He gave me this Jeep for his TRX4. He told me he wants me to do it. The gremlins, the grem, he wants the gremlins on the side. And he oh. said that he wants it like white with, with like blood splatters because he's going to have a gremlin driving with a beer in his hand and like cigarettes and then oh. inside <laughs> and he wants me to make it look like he, the gremlins running over people with blood splatters and then he wants like dark uh blue in the back wow. it's very wow. specific yeah good luck well, with I, that. so you're gonna paint it black and like, get it back to him or what well, he was like, can I borrow my airbrush, can I borrow airbrush kit? I was like, you want to borrow my airbrush kit? I was like, do you know how to use it? He's like, you just put paint in it, right? I'm like, no, dude, there's like lights. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, yeah, get the needle, make sure the needles are clean. Make sure the paint's going to flow. Mix it right. And like, just give me the body. I'll do it for you when I get them in. Even the PSI has to do with, you know, huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, um, I got it. I got Travis. Line. Travis is in the chat. TDR goalie vids. Uh, he used to be Rayside Racing. Came in the video a bunch of times, anyways. Uh, but now his channel name is called TDR Goalie Vids because he's a goaltender. Uh, Travis from Ottawa. Anyways, he goes, Hey, Tank, the SEX 10 2 and red uh, is 279, the kit. And it, the red cat pack is 229, like I mentioned a little earlier. But he says, but unsure if the Red Cat will do short wheelbase under 12 inches. So, while you guys were talking, I did a little research with that real quick. And it does go to 312 millimeter. And 312 millimeter is 12.2 inches. 12.28. So, it does not do under 12, but pretty darn close. So just for in case some people wanted to know, you can actually adjust the wheelbase on the Gen 8 also. But what you get on the Gen 8 real quick is exactly that. You get just that. Hmm. Are the transmitters metal? Or? Yeah. And that's it. I like it. Cool. So it does do, but for, for what I want to do, uh, there's only a few people that knows what I kind of rig I'm going to be building on it, but it is completely custom. Uh, I don't have one of those here, so uh, it's going to be interesting. And the reason I'm doing it is because it's got port portal axles. Hey, He's can... asking if the SEX-10 is adjustable also. You could have just got one of these, Tank. This is a badass caller right it here. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. no. No. Come on. Look at this. Motor on axle, MOA, two of them. <laughs> Steve, do you know do you know how to count? Have you made a video about that yet, Steve? Do I? Yeah. Well, I I recorded it today. I let the uh, Bugs kid play with it outside, so okay, cool. got my running footage of it. Do I know how to count? Yeah. Do you know how to count? Up to ten. Good, because I wouldn't want you to count on me getting one. Oh, that's a dad joke. Uh, yeah. dad joke. Don't count. <laughs> hey, Tank, do you know how to count? Yes. I'm don't a musician. Count on the, I can only uh... count to four. <laughs> no, I was going to say, don't count on the Exoterra beating my Glamis. <laughs> <laughs> I told you the other day, it's not about the car, it's about the driver. No, I was telling you that. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> you were you were you were being very technical about you know you have to go a certain amount of feet or metric 
what, whatever you guys do in Canada, um, you know, and do all this and do that. And I said, you know what, the drivers, what definitely, you know, matters most. And you agreed, and I agreed, and we just we skewed off to, you know, we lost our train of thought, and we we saw uh, we said something else. Okay, two wheel drive buggy. I got you both beat. Right here, oh, man. Up against yeah, yeah. Buggy up against any of you. He even has a wheelie bar for all its power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so how do you guys measure tire pressure up in Canada? Uh, it, uh, we do use PSI. Yeah, it's still PSI, oh, huh. but on Why my tire, it's BPL. Why is that? It, it is metric. Is America and, and it? It's kind of screwed, you know? I don't know. But when I want to know if my, in my car, my, my tire pressure, I put it in Imperial. Then I go check my tire pressure. I go, okay, yes, I am at 30 or 31 or 32, whatever. Ah, okay. and, and then I turn it back gotcha. to metric because I can't yeah, read the other true. one. Makes more sense still. Yep. Yes. I'm still, I'm too old for the metric system. <laughs> yeah, <I think laughs> my tires would be flat or overinflated for sure. Yeah, all of my all of my tire uh, pumps are all Imperial. You no, know, there's only a couple things that we use Imperial with, really. For like most people, just talk about their weight in pounds, their height in feet, yeah. uh, like pressure and PSI. But then really measures, right? metric. Yeah, so like for us stupid Americans, Imperial's the American version, right? <laughs> yeah. Imperial, yes. Imperial is the American version. <laughs> But I was talking to my son the other day and asking him, like, it's a quarter of an hour. What do you mean a quarter? What's a quarter? I go, well, it's it's half it's it's half of an half. I go, what? And he was all screwed up. I go, I go, you know what half hour is? He goes, no. He goes, thirty minutes. He goes, okay, I understand that. Well, a quarter is fifteen minutes. He goes, well, why didn't you just say fifteen minutes instead of a quarter? What's a quarter? Oh, well, do they not teach fractions at all anymore? No, they don't. It, it, it's not it's a new a fraction is not it. metric. Wow. And yeah, and it's funny because, you know, in, in the world of precision, right? I mean, you talk about millimeters, you talk about, you know, the metric system. Yep. But, uh, you know, the standard uh, measurements, you know, they, it's funny because, I mean, you guys talk about quartz, no, not quartz, I'm sorry, uh, milliliters, and we talk about, you know, quartz and ounces. You know, it's so much easier with the metric system, you know, than the standard system. You know? Yeah. We may have I have no idea how many ounces are in a quart and all the quarts are in a gallon and all that other garbage. Well, eight, eight, ounce, eight, eight ounces is a cup. That's what, that's what Google's there for. Google's exactly. there for you. <laughs> right. Hey, hey Alexa. <laughs> Oh, Oops! Sorry, sorry, to... sorry. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, Alexa sorry, going off. I Good turned job. on someone's Alexa. I'm yeah, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to join the live chat. Right. She had something to say. Well, I had that problem uh, where you're saying Alexa just now, where I would wait to turn my GoPro on when I go on the driver's stand, but when I'd get up there, people started harassing me and start saying all kinds of GoPro commands. So I always had to do it. Before I got on the driver's stand, but sometimes it took 10 minutes before everybody was checked in. My battery was almost dead before the race oh, even yeah. started. <laughs> I was always worried about that, so I'd go and turn off the voice stuff. <laughs> you know you're going to get yeah, some guy just yell it out during the middle. Shut yeah. up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, man. I really don't play with my GoPro enough, which is the one that Starts recording the top one. Yes. Yeah. I, think yes. On their, I just need I to do that next time. Control, it'll tell you. Yeah, the if it's on or off also. When I went up to uh, Austin to race at that Thornhill racetrack, I was trying to do the voice commands on the driver stand right where the announcer speaker was, and it was impossible. So on my controller, I was trying to open the app on my because my my controller's Android. And I was trying to get it all started up. So instead of being nervous about racing my heat race, I'm trying to get the app going so I could turn the damn camera on. It was all shaking and, oh, God. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> Worried about getting the friggin' video done while you're trying to race. Yeah. Right. 
one, one more thing to worry about. Mm -hmm. What happens to me is I get I have no problem with getting the camera going, but I always forget to check like the angle. So it'll like I'll get like uh, yeah. I don't even get the track. It'll just be the wall. Ended <laughs> grinding, guys. What's where that? do you usually set your GoPro for? Like One narrow, wide? Right? I mean, where do you set it at when you put it on your on your head? I'm a huge I go fan. Wide. Of I use linear. 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 Which is yeah. a narrow, it's a narrow, but it reduces that weird fisheye effect. I mean, yeah, okay. you can really think about what your venue is. Like sometimes you got to bump it out to to medium or wide just to get the track in. Mm -hmm. But overall, I try and leave mine on linear whenever I can. Just to get better. I haven't played with my settings in so long. I don't even remember what they're on. They don't do linear in the 4K certain ones, right? Yeah, you can't do linear in 4K. No, you have to bump down your resolution. I hate to edit a race in 4K. That would take forever. Well, I, yeah, that's why I don't. There's, <laughs> I've been meaning to talk about that. There's a whole bunch of problems on, well, there's a whole bunch of hassles with 4Ks, which are why I don't do it. What are the hassles? It still needs to be developed. Uh, just the lack of lack of field of view options. Uh, oh, the GoPro, yeah. Gotcha. The, huge, the huge file sizes, the HEVC, so you can't like you can't edit it or even watch it back at full quality on your phone because you have to convert it back. Um, and then just none of my computers are powerful enough to edit 4K60. That's what you get for buying Apple. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, actually, Apple, I, do, I do have. I do have powerful enough equipment to, to edit for <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm too cheap to buy the pro apps. <laughs> so do yeah. they have a head mount strap for the, the Canon cameras? <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> that? There's a big old weight up there. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it one time payment and you can have it on as many computers as you want. It's amazing. Which app was that, Tony? Final cut. Final cut. Okay. Yeah. I know it's still five hundred bucks though here. No, oh, okay. Here it's like three hundred. Maybe it's four. It's whatever yours is plus a hundred or two. <laughs> DaVinci is the way to go for me because it's free. Yep. <laughs> it's good software. Yeah, I just need to learn it. Well, I was using <laughs> Filmora from <laughs> Wondershare. It was great for getting started at it, but I just realized that I wanted certain footage to kind of match in color. So I started thinking I need something with color grading, and that's had all of that in there. Just I still need to learn how to do it all. Yeah. Are you fixing that X Max, John? What's that? Yeah. Yeah, fixing the X Max. So oh, okay. just pulling this all together. The stupid uh, the wheel, the inner wheel hex, it holds on by a little spring clip. That's gone. Like it flew across oh, the, the whole basement. Like it is lost forever. I'm gonna have to go get a clip. Why the heck does it use an E clip on an X Max to hold your inner hex on? That's crazy. Um, but anyway, so, anyway, I saw the theme of the theme of this week was small versus big. Big mm -hmm. is big in the arse. <laughs> it's fun. Big is big is expensive. I think it was a beast in that last video, John. What were yeah, you running that on? 8S or 6S? 8S, yeah. Yeah, at the school, I was with him when he broke it, and when he was doing those jumps. Yeah. <laughs> that thing did not want to crawl through that swallow. I mean, it wanted no, to jump over just everything. Wanted to go. Go. <laughs> and like, I, was just, I was just breathing on the throttle, and it's just like it wants to go. Because it's, it's non censored, like. 1800 kilovolt motor or something it's like ridiculous um, also i think that's the first time i had ran it on my new batteries so it's like it was noticeably more powerful than the old traxxas ones i had i was trying to figure out which one to which vehicle to use to join that challenge but i just couldn't bend over so there was just no way i could do it oh. Why can't you bend over? Uh, I just woke up that way about almost two weeks ago. Hey, BK, how are you? 
I'd like to claim it off as old age, but I've had back problems before. So it's been a long time since I had any problems. I guess it was time. Yeah, right every few years something happens with it. That clip seems completely redundant for this. Like, the clip is just to hold this hex on, but if you don't have the clip, you put the wheel on, then you put the nut on, like, really, what's... I don't think it has a purpose. Well, it's only I... there to hold it while the wheel is off, so you don't lose the clip. Yeah, so I guess I'm not too worried about it. I should look a little bit harder before I put it all back together. But Anyway, that was a pretty I was easy ask if you guys entered the art driver contest with the X-Max? What's the no, no. Uh, online? Yeah. What do, you, what do you do to enter it? Just comment? Yeah, comment yeah. Yeah, on his uh, website. Pro-Line, the Pro-Line one? Yep. No, That's speaking $500 speaking of speaking. shocks. That's a sweet setup right there. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm digging his... Uh, his HPI creator build thing that he built, the off-road Camaro. That's pretty cool. Mad Max yeah. Camaro? Yeah, yeah, I like the paint color. But what happened with the other guys? Like, he posted his as if it was on deadline, and then I didn't see anyone else post theirs. Hemistorm just posted yeah, just something. Hemistorm. Did he? Okay. Yeah, uh, but he didn't have his painted yet. No. No. I, uh, I actually commented on his saying he should – he's doing all this cool stuff, and I think it's going to be awesome. I warned him about the uh, the bell crank steering in there. Yeah. Right. I said, take it or leave it. But here was my experience. It's one That's of the back of my head the whole time I've been watching those. Is what? Thinking, thinking about the bell crank going to get jammed up in the dirt. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can hardly run it anywhere. So, well, Tank knows he's got one. Right? The Ken so, Black one? Yeah. That's the same. Yeah. Well, as, as long as you don't run it where there's rocks, you're fine. Well, RC, uh, RC driver online, he was he made his off road and he was driving it off road. He didn't say he had any uh, issues, but he might well, have with the magic of camera, with magic of camera, you can actually stop your recording and then continue later. You know. That's why I said I didn't know if he edited it out or not. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It looks so bouncy. It looked like a Tamiya on Friction Shop. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't know if that was just because the tires or because the shocks are so, like, on-road small. There's just no travel or what? But it was, yeah, it was bouncing all over. I mean, he was running it on some pretty aggressive gravel, it looked like, though. Yeah. Buck used about a whole can of WD-40 on this thing. Hold her down. So, hey, Tank, uh, if, if you mind if I can say something here exclusive. Go for it. Um, so, RC Basher Boy is getting a brand new rig. I'm not going to say what it is, Again? but it's it's definitely a crawler. Mm. Gen eight. So. No, no, no. It's not a. It's not a Gen eight. It, it, it's something so basic, so simple. Um, and actually, I I was fifty fifty. You know, when I was actually at the counter, um, you know, buying it. But I did my research. You know, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, and uh, I just got you know blown away of you know the. The upgrades you can do on them. So uh, I will say, um, no, I can't say what brand it is. But uh, <laughs> 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 uh, builders. What a tease, man! What a tease. <laughs> is it? A yeah. Kit? You no, it's not a it? kit. It, it's ready to run. It's probably you know, an like, axial, uh, axial or a uh, Traxxas, one or the other. No, it's not an axial, and it's not a Traxxas. She made our one. Oh. It's the. Um, and it's not a G Mate. It's something G similar guy. to a G Mate. I will say that. Oh, oh the gown. No. It, why am I even answering you guys? <laughs> <It's dumb>. <laughs> We're gonna keep doing it. Uh, tell so us. Maybe we already guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, definitely. Um, 
at at first I say, you know what, this is so basic, so you know, I I don't even know why I got this, but I mean, as as I went further, uh, looking at you know to see what I can do with this thing, and I say, you know what, I'm starting to like this thing, so um, you know, stay tuned for that. And actually, I will do a you know, I will do like a little suspenseful search and rescue, you know, theme on this new vehicle that I'm getting. So, but yes. Oh, I, okay. I, I know what it is. It's the, uh, the number two, the one that Shen just got, the uh, temper two. I'm not going to answer. You see <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say yes or no, man. Stay Cause, tuned. Because <laughs> I'm thinking he's going to search and rescue it. He's got a certain size trailer. And that thing would fit on a certain size trailer because it's an 18th scale. <laughs> and it's kind of like the G Gong, the G Made. Look at so, that. Look, Steve knows his cars. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, then again, I'm not going to say yes or no. <laughs> I mean, and uh, I will say maybe Steve O may have cracked this already. <laughs> but he may be wrong. Okay. JP Slayer is saying it's a Radio Shack. It's, RC, like Billy Joel song. it's a radio. No, it's not a Radio Shack. <laughs> and CX Temper Two. Do they still have Radio Shack in the states? Uh, uh, do no. Have radio Shack in the states? Yeah, we got Radio Shack. Cool. There's one on Eight Mile and Gratia, right? The Only in Detroit. Yep. It's right next to the Blockbuster. There ain't no Blockbuster there, there no more. There used to be. Look, JP Slayer Racing says if it's the Can-Am. I did see that rig, man, but eh, I don't know. Something oh, about Yeti, it. Uh, you know. Score Junior? Yeah, the Yeti Junior. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll talk about the Yeti, Yeti Junior in a couple yeah. minutes. Okay. Right, here's another big car. Here's another big car for you guys. Holy cow, what is that? It's the HPI Racing Baja 5 on road. Yeah, they got one of those at my hobby shop. This thing is huge also, but it's a Baja 5, but with the tuned suspension that's very low to the ground. So the body just looks amazing like it. It looks really good. Yeah, yeah. in person it's freaking humongous. Yeah, yeah I remember seeing it in your walk-around video and it's freaking huge. Yeah. So there's the 5R, which is lower, and then this is another one, the uh, T TSKB Class 1. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm going to have to look into that one. Uh, but oh. here's the... Uh-oh, that might be it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they have dimension. So 23cc motor. That thing must be fun. Oh, wow. Tony, that'll that look in the cul-de-sac whipping around. Yeah. Nah. nah. Oh, I'll tell you what, though. That Traxxas Vortex, that thing's awesome. Do you have the one with the brush? The brush I have the VXL. The Vortex, yeah, they're rippers, aren't they? Yeah, the VXL's nice. Mm -hmm. So I got it for two fifty. Yeah. Awesome. Two fifty with that custom body on it. Nice. With the and, custom body, and, uh, on? three sets of tires, extra sets. Jeez, oh, I haven't seen this. What, what body did you get with it? I'll show Mask you. Jeff, I asked Carl. So here's the car. Here's the <laughs> one fifth beside a, beside the one tenth car. Oh wow! Wow! Oh wow! Yeah, that's wild. Like crazy. You know, speaking of HPI, um, I don't know if you guys are. Or some of you guys here are gamers, but uh, Gran Turismo Four. There, I guess the main car of Gran Turismo Four was the uh, the Four GT. Um, and actually, HPI went ahead and did that whole body. And actually, my local hobby shop had one of those, but I man, I I really hate myself that I never picked it up. Oh yeah, yeah. I want an AC Cobra. Is what I want. Really That's pretty work. cool too. <laughs> so that was the mid two thousands Ford GT. You mean? Either one. Um, yes, yeah, so it the was the uh, the the one for the game. It was an all white, you know, with Gran Turismo decals. Um, yeah. Okay. You know, it, it, and it looked gorgeous, but it was just there sitting yeah. on the shelf. 
I just neglected it, never took it home. <laughs> and once, you know, I guess, I don't know, I, at first, when I first started, you know, buying a bunch of RCs, I didn't really think it was, my RC collection was going to be this big. And I don't know, maybe you guys can relate, but, uh, you know, I just say, you know what, I, eh, I don't need it. And speaking of on-roads, I mean, since I'm more of a third basher kind of guy, I mean, uh, the only two on-roads that I have is an HPI, the, the, the uh, I can't think of the name. It's a flux. It's a brushless, belt-driven um, platform. Uh, and Jim, the other one. What's that? Jim, Jim Ryan, which is in the chat, said that he's building a one-sixth scale RC tank. Nice. Holy cow. Wow. Cool. So if you go it's to his YouTube one, channel, which is size. here, he, there's a couple of videos of it. So there's Jim Ryan. He's a little puppy. But he's building a tank here. Cool. Yeah, that was it firing. Wonder if it has a motorized <laughs> turret. Oh wow! Electric motors. Is that yourself, tank? And is that Tamaya? I have no idea what he's using the motor, but I'm sure if we listen to spark. his video, it's going to stay. Oh, he's scratch building this? Yeah, he's scratch building it. Oh, wow. Scratch building. That's, really cool. That's cool. Oh, just goes forward and goes back. Like, wow. Just simple. Right now, he doesn't have any control on it. Just got a, a folding reverse. You okay there, Steve? Oh, I'm going. I'm driving up and down my ramp, putting the cars away. <laughs> Some donuts? Mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> if you guys want to go have a look, it's got the retrofit Tiger cage for work tank from Jim Ryan. Definitely. I'll check him out. Cool. I'll put a link to his chat to his uh, channel there. Actually, if we could just put that one on it so people can go to that one. All right, John, here's what I got. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? That doesn't look like a Fortech at all. That's pretty cool, though. Good year on the tires, even. Yeah. Where did oh, you yeah. get those? If you don't mind me asking. What? Where'd she get those tires, if you don't mind me asking? He, he put stickers on them and then coated, coated it in somehow. This guy's an awesome builder. Hmm. Oh. I'll say that. So both my, uh, whoa. my uh, both of my retros are from him. And uh, when I saw this come up, yeah, so, I mean, it's stock. Oh, wow. Great. Great car. I got yep. a good price because stock VXL is 350 I think. So I got it 250 with the body and the extra tires. Like so I, yeah, that seems like a good deal. And he'd only driven it, I think, once when I saw him drive it in the parking lot. Every now and then I'll get a pebble or a bit of dirt stuck in my front bell crank too, but it's not really a big problem. Like you can just kind of twi fiddle with it and it'll clear itself most of the time. Is um, that with these or with the with the Fortec? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Fortec. I mean, I should, like I should a pull a bunch of dirt out of it and there was no problems. Yeah. Every now and then, like a, a pebble stuck in with the servo saver and bell cranks are. Okay. Um, but. It, it kind of comes in on its own sometimes. Most so of the, the body end. clips are on the side on the motor huh? shroud. Well, he put them in because this particular body was flaring out. Yeah, that's um, custom because it's really thin. Uh, but it's custom painted. I, I'm trying to think of who he had do it. I think it was uh, Dark Side. Is that what it is? Hmm. The guy that does the paint. The big, the big name guy. And then my son was crashing into it like. I saw that. Oh, it. <laughs> That's on the highlights of the Tamiya build off show them off video. Oh yeah. Yeah, I had it all all the uh, screenshots and videos all done today. And when I put it in iMovie, I realized when I did the screen recordings, I didn't have any of the volume on, so I got no volume. So I had to re redo the whole thing, and I was like, "Oh, I'm putting something else on." Getting the wrecks. Yeah, I, I got, got it. it. Yeah. There's my Glamis. 
Yep, shining her up. I, I got another surprise that I haven't showed anybody yet. <clears throat> yeah, here. You've seen it first on the, the Frank RC, RC top. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a digger. Another Son one? of a digger. What's it look like? Uh, it is a track. It's, it's, it's the slash wow. of the J Concepts. Uh, yeah, it is. Cool. See? Slash That's why I got my I, I got my slash ready for that thing too. That's why it's just sitting there. So this wow. is not the slash that I got for the conversion. It's got the LEDs in the front. Two <laughs> LEDs. Cool. I think this has been driven once. Hey Wayne, how you doing? But it's got a castle system it's in system. it. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah. So drive shaft. That is pretty cool. It's it's bigger. It looks bigger than I thought it would with the conversion with the big monster tires on it. Yeah, it's same builder. It basically makes it an eight scale, right? Uh, this would be a tenth monster truck. Okay, it, it'd be the same as like the. It just doesn't. Com I mean, it over competes with these. It's not solid axle. It's got the um, center diff, right? So yeah. it just goes nuts. But yeah, so they've got the only thing. I mean, I know why they do it is strength, but it's got the um, uh, blanking on it, carbon fiber, shock tower, yeah, yeah. shock towers, which is probably great. But you know, I want to get it wet, so I'm gonna have to go in and probably take it apart and coat these so that they don't. So you're not gonna race that one? Yeah, we can't race them. That's what I was no. thinking. It's the diff, right? Yeah, but there is a class, so they do up in Pennsylvania, Jay Concepts puts on a, it's actually lap racing with monster trucks, and they do have a class for these. And this is what, that's what he built this for, and then he f realized he couldn't go up there, and so um, I got this kit for, I think it was 450 So, um, you know, the body alone is one. Because I already got one of these. It's 125. Tire sets for these, which has got the plastic inserts and everything, the bead locks. You know, you're looking 160 by the time you do rims and tires almost. And then castle system, castle system in it. You have to get the J Concepts kit, which is 100 bucks. Yeah. Plus, you have to still buy the front shocks, the tall shocks by Traxxas. Plus, he got the extra battery strap, so he can do 3S, I guess. There's the other one they can put in. Yeah, the other one in here that's 29 millimeter, I think, height. Yeah, so I, it was a – and it's, again, Score. it's never – it looks brand new. I haven't even run it. I'm afraid to. Did I'm missing you that body that? again, Tony. What, is that pre-painted? Does it come that way? It's a sticker. It's a sticker. It looks yeah, awesome. So there's a guy that has this, this mold, so he makes the bodies, and then he puts the stick. He paints them black with some silver oh, for the front, wow. and then that looks the that looks sharp. On. So it's, it matches the wheels too. That really? looks really really cool. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's straight it up the digger, and so he did it up to look just like it. Now I just need to make they make a clip body thing that goes in here, where they have a sticker on it that looks like a chassis under a truck. And well, so the wire is coming out of the body. Is that for sound or lights or what is that? The what? The lights. wire coming out of the body. This? The lights. Blue lights, probably. Oh, no, yeah, there's lights. There's blue lights up front. Oh, he didn't cool. cool. <laughs> wow. It's straight up son of a digger. And yeah, great. Nice. It's upgraded. It was one of those things where it was on the – he put it up for auction on, on the, the Facebook auction groups. I'm like, dude, you should have told me. I would have totally bought it from you. And he probably, I probably would have paid him more than I paid for it. You There's know, on, that. on Facebook. Yeah, okay. he's some like RC auction block or something. Radio control auction block. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and so it's just like eBay. So you just put in the comments what you'll you'll pay, and it just, you know, they say it ends at five on a certain day, and they've got admins that watch. And so you send the admin a reserve if you've got a reserve price. I try to stay off of that that group. Yeah. Yeah, it's they got so much stuff out there all the time. Yeah, this is a smaller <laughs> one actually, which is that's where I got those like truggy tires from. I paid what twenty dollars for them. I thought they were buggy tires. They turned out to be truggies. 
I'm like, what am I going to do with these things? And I put them right. on my, my monster truck. Like, hey, this is actually way more fun to drive with these tires on here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that, that's the new one. These are awesome for freestyle. And so you, you bought the whole kit? You just bought the, that whole kit you built? Yeah, the whole thing. Cool. That's wow. a screaming deal. Yeah. I actually both of them at the same time. So I bid on the, the Fortec first because I saw him drive it. And then I'm like, somebody's going to outbid me on that, you know, 250 So I started bidding on the other one, and I didn't go back and bid on this one again. I ended up winning them both. <laughs> wow. Yep. Awesome. So, I, I know I'm gonna be a I know I'm gonna be a party pooper here, but uh, and I hope Axiomatics listening, but uh go Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he so built were you guy happy to have won both of them or shocked that you won both of them? <laughs> Tony. I was shocked. I wasn't ready to sell out for both of them. Like yeah. no. <laughs> gotta go hit the so, fake okay. up. So, who's game to try a vertical challenge? Vertical challenge? Yeah, just like Axiomatics and uh, um, Ben's doing. Is you take a board, put sandpaper on it, and take your crawler or a truck or whatever, and go up and see who can do the most angle. Yeah, what's crazy is they should have bought a winch. No, oh, not using a winch, winch by, by its own power. <laughs> There's a winch. You, you can go straight up with a winch. Right, exactly. Lift yourself 90 degrees. I've been watching those guys with those Traxxas trucks that they're the TRX4, I think it is, they're doing it yeah. with. And the yeah. battery's kind of up high and in the back, and it just kind of lifts up, I guess, because of that. They needed to put some weights in the front for that. Mm -hmm. Mario had his battery right in the very front. He used the super tiny one and put it in the in that upper, uh, in that front location. Yeah, Who did that? Two degrees out of it. I'm I'm getting a new crawler, so I'll, I'm down. Well, we'll believe it when we see it. How's that, huh? <laughs> and you can do the challenge without having to go to Canada. Yeah, you can do a challenge without going to Canada. There you go, Gabe. Nice to shine. Like new. Appreciate it, man. Looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And so what is this you see the metric? <laughs> All right, <laughs> like metric. <laughs> I check the chassis on that one. If it's been in Detroit, there's bound to be some rust under there. Oh hell no! <laughs> all salty. Took the door off to clean the inside. I don't I'm care, kidding. man. Really, I, really. I mean, I don't. The reason why I'm, you know, I'm sending it around is, you know, so it can get, you know, the 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 the, the, the look that it's been used because, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys follow my channel. Oh, I built that. This bitch is looking shiny. Hey, awesome. Gabriel, send it to yeah. me, and I'll have Olga drive it in the ocean for you. So that way it'll look used. Yeah. <laughs> then you'll get that Ouch. Ouch. To it. There we go. <laughs> right. So but, Jim I mean, Ryan having, having said, three of them, you know, it's uh... – Jim Ryan says he's got the line they use now for keeping the roads clear, and it's just every single screw is rusty. You're going to see it from before Axiomatic gets this. So if he tries saying any different, you've seen it here live. Yeah. Cool. The uh, light bars are there. Jim Ryan, Jim Ryan in the chat is saying that he got 57 degrees uh, angle with his CCO1 camera. Yeah. Nice. He got 57. That's a lot. That's a lot, 57. That's hard to believe, but it's doable. I'm, I'm sure my new crawler can probably do that. Well, I if mean, it's a comp crawler or a real crawler, yes, it probably can. It, 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 <laughs> it's got to be it, – it's, it's exclusive content. I can't say yeah, what it is. If it's the crawler yeah. that uh, – I already know what it is. If I'm, it's the crawler that Steve O.D. was mentioning, yes, it could. I'm a, a psychic today. <laughs> yeah, let me get one. And I mean, I, I'm not gonna say anything. I, I, like I said, it's Steve. -O, Steve -O may be right, may be wrong, but uh, I'm never wrong, even when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even when I'm wrong. <laughs> never admit to it anyway. Man, let's just wrong, let's too. just say it's a crawler. <laughs> Period. You'll see is it, it in my trail channel. Truck or is it a crawler? What's that? Is it a trail truck or is it a crawler? It's a crawler. 
Mm. Actually, I I own many platforms as far as crawlers, but this this would be new to my to yeah. my lineup. So cool. I mean, it, it can be a Gen Eight or an Axial or you know a Terra. You know, it's something. Maybe like a low C night crawler or something. So, I mean, who who knows? I, I mean, when you took it out for the first time, Gabe. Some oh, that was yeah. That's that was also a great experience, man. Let me tell you. Uh, you know, before I ran it, I went to my local hobby shop. I almost spent the whole day there. You know, I found it to my uh, Spectrum receiver. I checked every single bolt on there. You know, everything was good. Ran it, bashed it, and she's still in one piece. So, I know you have a lot of cars, but. I've seen a lot of these guys that have a lot of these gear best vehicles and they go out and buy a notorious like, man, that's a huge jump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I tried sending mine, you know, pretty high. But I mean, because I, I ran it on 4S. I, I didn't I didn't do 6S. Yeah, I run my uh, you know, 4S as well. I don't see the point of going success. I mean, I, 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 I could, but I just don't want to. I'll, I'll run my notorious on 6S soon. But I mean, I said, you know what? Let's just break it in 4S. Let's go. So, and look, the a tank. The tank is holding a, a crawler. Big nice. Big com crawler, motor on axle, and everything. Can't overpower if you don't overpower. That's an HSP. HSP, nice. Okay. Motor on axle, and everything. Motor on axle, something here. HP, yeah. Got it for my son. He doesn't use it a lot. There's too many acts, too many trucks. As you see, it's got full of dust. I think I got him too many trucks. Yeah, and, and, and if I if I tell you the brand, I mean, I'm just gonna give it away, you know. So no, but it's I'm, all good. It's all good. Steve O.D. mentioned what it was. <laughs> no, I'm not saying if that if he got it right or wrong. I'm, I'm not. No, I'm not no, giving no. a definite answer. <laughs> you already gave it away. Question for you guys. So I went to run this um, truck for the first time, and it wouldn't drive. But if I held it up, it would drive. And if I just dropped it, you know, gave it a kick, it would start driving. Am I just overgeared? It can't even start it? it Ooh, that's weird. Sounds like your gearing is almost out of mesh or something. Well, I mean, it's it worn out. Or so there's, the difference is, you know, I've got the, the overdrive – diffs in it i've never had that and i'm still running it at 15 turn pinion i'm just wondering if i drop it down a little bit if it'll be able to get it going if it's just too too much at start for it to go it's, oh, it's either your motor is is your brushes on your motor are gone are they new motors it's not that old it's one of my castle that i ran a sticker bomb for, for a year but i don't run really really that off overheated motor right Never overheated the motor. Is it brushless or brushed? Demagnetized it. You can demagnetize the motor by overheating it pretty easy. Uh, no. it's, brush it's brushless. Brushless? Okay. It's a castle um, sidewinder. Does it make any funny sounds when you're trying to give it gas? No. And like I said, if I turn it on right now, it'd go just fine. It's all worn out. And actually, when I, um, I give it a go, a push, it drives great, but it just can't get it off the line. Hmm. Right, the initial. That's why I'm running, running, running it. Running sensor what? You're running it without sensor cable? It doesn't have one. It's a sidewinder. So it's, yeah, it's a sensorless. Over packed with grease by chance? What? Too much grease in things? That's possible. I might have over greased the axles. Hmm. Might do it a little bit. These ones spin a whole lot easier than these ones, that's for sure. No, Is that some weird excessive cogging or anything when it's off load? These are stiff. Uh, it, to the fronts again? No, but you have uh turn uh turn them both the the back ones uh. See these ones aren't going. See that? Yeah, that's probably what it is right there. That's probably a bearing then. Check your bearings. Check your bearings and the bindings on the uh, the nuts and hexes and stuff like that. Jim Ryan in the chat is asking, what kilovolt is the motor? Is it the 3800? 
got something to do with his diffs. It looks like that diff's messed up. 4,800? 4,800. That's, mm. that's a high KV. I would, I, w- I would uh, definitely check the bearings on should... there first. Something's weird with this one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's your problem right there. When the diff is funky. Aren't, uh, aren't those Wraith disc, uh, diffs? They're unlocked. Oh, they are unlocked? Yeah. See, this one's driving them. So it's just, it's just so stiff that it's not... Then it's a bearing. The spider views are stripped out in the No, it, it I, I can assure you it's the bearing that it's, you know, definitely it, given out. These are brand new axles, though. Well, the bearing would be easy. So pray for the, for the bearing. Well, I mean, if you, if you run it on heavy dirt, um, like, for example, typically my, uh, Always my situations, time. it's... I don't think it's the bearing. I mean, the brand new bearings run one time. Maybe you got too much grease in there? I don't know. I might, I might have overdone yeah. the grease. Yeah. Probably then, yeah. Because if it's thinking that this is... It's driving these instead, because it's open. <clears throat> did, you, here. did you shim the dips or anything? Can you shim them dips? Yeah, sometimes it, yeah, Jim Ryan saying twenty or, or thirty-two KV would on. be better for you. Your KV's too high. That's why it doesn't have the to torque to take off. Yeah, it should still move though. Like it'll run hot. It'll. It should. It's still definitely move. running warm. That's why I was going to gear down. Yeah, but yeah, it definitely seems like there's something else at play here. I'm gonna just open it up and see if I can take out a little grease. And, and, and you know what? Another thing that could possibly it is uh, if there's any binding on the shafts. I did put in those um, axle, um, hot racing axle, or no, not hot racing. Beef uh, tubes? Beef extra tubes? speed. Beef tubes. Extra speed. Okay. Just like the beef tube, though, right? It's like one, yeah. Yeah. And, and let me tell you, Over I've had issues axle, with the... With the uh, hot racing shafts for my Honcho SCX10, I mean, I know it's a different truck, but uh, the hot racing shafts from uh, from hot racing, um, for some reason, at some point, they tend to lock. You know, depending yes. on what angle it will go to, since my my truck is a little lifted, it will get to a binding point with it would just, and then the 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 truck would do a lot of shaking. And we found out that it was the, the shaft that it was, uh, yeah, that it was just binding and, you know, it was just bad. Yeah, the brass. The actual, actual shaft. Beef tubes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I might want to Sean, check that too. Sean, Sean RC is asking you to do something, but I believe you did it earlier. He's saying uh, hold on both front wheels from spinning and then spin one of the rear wheels to see if the opposite spins. That's what he was doing, wasn't it? No, no, you got to do both, like positive, so the, the the fronts would move. Do what? So this is the front wheel here. So you want to hold one of them? No, but practically you're not you're not moving the front divs. You got to move them positively. Like you got to move them the rear. You got to move them both at the same direction. See what you're doing now to the front and we have to do it. There you go. So they do move. There you go. The other day when I was playing with my Mini 8, I kind of noticed something similar with mine, so I'm kind of curious on the outcome here. Yeah, Jim Ryan, he said his motor does get hot. It didn't before, and I ran this exact same setup. The only thing I changed is the gears in the axle. Okay. You see, I'm holding the back. I always ran that motor. Ones and turn one, one front one. Do what? Hold the back ones? Yeah, hold both back tires and turn one front one. Yeah, it turns the other front one then. Yeah, so it's open. It's so stiff. 
But they're stiff, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna just check out the greasy in here. I might have gotten grease yeah, happy one night. Greased one of mine one time. So I just I got curious. You were working on those the AR60s. I popped the pumpkin off mine on the wraith to see what it looks like inside. So if I if I ever want to unlock that, I just take yeah, take it out. The diff then, cup. You have to take the diff cup it's out. It's so easy to work on here. In there. You gotta replace with a locker. There's quite a bit of grease in here. And then to get the diff cup out, I got to take the axle apart to, to be able to get that diff out of there? No, you well, just got to pop those little retaining brackets. There's two okay. little retaining brackets in there. Yeah, yeah, but you have to pop the two axle ends. Okay. Just, just loosen the screws and pull them out, and your uh, axle will pop, true. and then it'll pull because they're going into it. So you have to you okay. do, loosen two screws on each side and pull the wheels and pull the axle, and it'll pull right out. It's super quick. Okay. And then in the inside of the dip cup, there'll out. be just something that's locking it all from rotating. Yep, it'll it'll look like uh, one of those iron cross deals. Yeah, uh, you gotta buy you buy you gotta buy the gears to replace it. You gotta buy the gears that go inside. Oh, it doesn't. Have to, okay. Yeah, it replaces the gears with a, like an iron cross. Okay, that makes sense. So. Right. Iron cross isn't that a Christian metal band? White Cross, I think it was. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was White Cross. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I don't know any of their songs, but I know the name. That was a long time ago, too. Right. They're like the one popular Christian metal band. They were like not nearly as big as Striper was. <laughs> I had a chance to work um, roadie, or not roadie, um, well, stagehand type work with the, with the striper they wanted us to work for free it's like man every other band pays me why do you want me to work for free i would have loved to have been back there but not for free that's you know a good 14 hour day yeah pay. and why do they think they can have free labor just because you get to listen to their music no because you get tax pay. free probably yeah. they don't have you to get to work taxes probably too religious some people do it just to, like having a backstage pass. Well, it is similar, but you got to work your ass off. For all yeah, the time. it depends if you're. A, <laughs> you don't get to watch the show. You just got to work the whole time. If you're a normal roadie, you wouldn't. You'd never think of doing it. But for somebody that just wants to get to be behind the sure. scenes and pay the piper. Yeah. yeah, but you definitely work your tail off doing roadie work. Yeah. I did a show up in uh, Fargo, Minnesota one time. It was a, uh, I don't know, it was some type of a classic rock show. I don't remember the name of it. And Otis Day and the Knights was there from that, uh, what was that movie? Uh, I want to say American Graffiti, but that wasn't the movie. But that guy was so cool, man. Mm. Shout a little bit louder now. <laughs> that guy was awesome. One of the guys that used to follow my channel back in the day was the uh, tour manager for Corn. So he'd send me little like updates and stuff, text message me stuff from on the road. Animal House was the movie. Yeah. Animal House was gonna say. <laughs> There's a. Uh, I talked to, to this girl that comes. <clears throat> did you ever see that girl uh, that comes on my channel, Steph Opal? Yeah. She, she was married to uh, Pantera's. Uh, sick lead singer and then actually in a band with her that's cool yeah, that's kind of sad that whole situation the box is the very good, there's, Bona, there's Bona Joe's buddy <laughs> Man, that's a big box oh I thought he was on here live with us oh yeah <laughs> holy Oh, I watched this video. This is nuts. It must be the camera angle because the box can't be that big. Is this the, <laughs> the one that he brought to uh, Joe's house? That green one? It's a pretty big box. I'll tell you what. Oh, it's the Mustang. <clears throat> we can see him. We just can't hear him, right? Yeah, well, I don't know if you'll hear him if I turn on the audio. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed that the cage underneath isn't any different. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was live. 
to him too. And that thing is massive. He can actually get under the hood. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's 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 a big vehicle. I did see that they have like an on road platform uh at that show where it's not like that Baja style where it would look like something that would be under that body. If that looks big, what does the primal look like? <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than that. I mean, I and get I I have an idea with that uh with that HPI, you know, if you guys follow Dukes of Hazard, I mean, I would get a body of a charger, you know, put some off road tires on there and slide on the hood and you know, get on that thing and rip it on the slide across the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your Daisy yeah. Dukes. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, I don't think I can wear Daisy Dukes, man. I think I need to, like Boss Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> the white suit. The white yeah, suit. the white yeah. suit, man. So. Oh yeah. But no, Daisy Dukes. No, I don't know. Probably Steve can saying. wear the Daisy Dukes. You won't get dirty. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be able to see him and be sitting in the seat. <laughs> Right, sitting on the pockets. But I mean, yeah, I mean, if, HPI. If if you're listening, I would definitely buy that vehicle. If you guys make a, a, a what is it, sixty eight, sixty nine Charger, sixty nine, sixty nine. Yeah. So that'll definitely be a yeah. a Dukes of Hazard themed vehicle, definitely. Yeah. HPI probably couldn't put it out with a rebel flag on the roof and all. No, yeah, yeah. Huh? You guys uh, keep anymore. up with the Night Pro Circus stuff at all? Not, you, I, you, I, I, I do. Because I don't really care for the freestyle stuff, but I saw the Travis Pastrana 24 Hours of Lemons the other day. That was hilarious. If you guys get a chance to watch, you should watch it. It's, a, I guess, a 24-hour car race, and they got an El Camino, and they painted it orange with the zero one on the side, but the zero one had already been used. They put Travis's number on there, which is the one ninety nine. It's oh, no. it's really funny. <laughs> Those guys are a hoot, man. Yeah, they are. It must be nice to be Travis Pastrana, <laughs> other than the nightmares. <laughs> and the broken yeah, bones. and all the broken bones and all the broken. <laughs> yeah. But he kind of just does whatever he wants to. It must be nice, man. Oh yeah, wasn't the dream. Remember, they had you know they had to go to other dream. countries to film their stunts because they wouldn't let them jump from building to building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that from riding a motorcycle. Any sign of fixing it, Tony? I, I'm uh, I'm reading a filthy cool RC's comment about Roadkill is a good show too. I've been a huge. I mean, I'm still a huge fan of them too. I haven't seen that one. Actually, yeah, actually, it's it's a good uh, it's a good show. Um, they be, they began and here in YouTube, and then they decided to move on to uh, to more order trend. Yeah. Um, but uh, actually, their first episode was here in El Paso. If you check out Roadkill, their first episode was here in El Paso. Many yeah. years ago. If they didn't take down the old episodes, yeah. you should try and find them because they're excellent. Right. But when YouTube was, the Google was like subsidizing car channels on YouTube for a year or two, and there was some awesome content. Like all the Motor Trend stuff was just amazing a few yeah. years ago. <clears throat> yeah, like, Another one I like is uh, Jay Leno's Garage. He's got some really crazy stuff on there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I follow him too. <laughs> I watch Redbeard's Garage. Redbeard's Garage? Red beards. He makes go like carts and mini stuff bikes like and go karts. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, okay. That sounds yeah. like fun. He soups them up. Pretty cool. And, and then, I mean, probably you guys may, may be mad or may be stunned, but uh, I hate Richard Rawlings. I hate him for some reason. I I hate a uh, monkey garage. I don't. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> for some reason monkey <laughs> I was I was that cool though at his age he just right. looked cool you know, did you but, see that yeah. uh, episode where they built that Mustang and their client was coming to pick it up and they decided to give it a test run <clears throat> and you're from Texas Gabriel so you can understand this uh, yeah. a Mexican guy with no insurance ran a red light and totaled their Mustang the day the guy, oh, client was coming to pick it up oh, yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah. so they didn't afford it on insurance because they couldn't afford for their insurance to go up. So they just took it as a loss. Yeah, that black Mustang. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see that one. I do like watching that show. He, I do too. He was racing in Detroit one time and ran a brand new Dodge Demon into a wall, messing around, trying to do a peel out off of a start. Yeah, of the race. yeah and, and, and Roadkill was there too. And actually, yeah. Um, yep, exactly. if, you, if you follow Roadkill, um, they have the. Uh, Bruce. Yeah, and they have the, uh, what do they call it, the General Mayhem, which yeah, I yeah. think it's a 68, 69 uh, Charger. And uh, they went head to head, but I guess uh, YouTube uh, just didn't let. I don't, I don't, I really don't know much about what happened there. But Monkey Garage and Roadkill did race, um, but I think uh, I think Roadkill won for some reason. I think maybe wrong, but uh, is that when they ran yeah. those Chargers There's or something like that? General Mayhem too. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, the later years, uh, but something. there was this one season where. It was Monkey Garage versus Roadkill, and uh, it was all over Facebook, and you know it was a huge thing. But we never saw actual footage for some reason because of mm. copy like that. And yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, huge fan of Roadkill. I mean, uh, Finnegan and uh, what's his other guy's name? Uh, yeah, there's Finnegan in the garage now too. He's got his own show. Yeah. No, yeah, like, those guys are awesome. Yeah. When is that Mo6 available to pre-order? Volkswagen. It's available soon. I think it was March. I think I read the other day. The two fourteen. That's not bad. Volkswagen minivan. I want it for the body, but man, it, it, even in that angle, it bugs me that just the chassis does not look right on it. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that too. The chassis is too low. You see too much of the chassis. Way off. too low. Yeah. I want the white wall tires. <laughs> I like the white walls on the wheels. But I like that. That's for the homies here in West Texas. What's yeah, up, this is? <laughs> this is the one I got that I haven't built yet. I do have this one with my tra tractor trailer at the back. That's the one yeah. I'm going to turn into a Herbie the Love Bug. Oh, yeah, that's nice what I hate is that the, the holes are pre-drilled. That pisses me off that they pre-drill the hole. Oh, like, that is surprising. Because, yeah, that was one thing they were wondering about that Mercedes body that I got. If it was pre-drilled, so we opened it up in the store, and it was not. Yeah. Same thing with me. My Mercedes uh, truck, the Tonka one, was not pre-drilled. I, I do quite like that, the Mark I uh, GTI as well. But it's just, it's the fender flares are, like, pretty ridiculous on it. So mm -hmm. I didn't end up doing it because I thought... Then you have to paint it all racy because it's it's got such an aggressive look on it. It's the one right above it. But. So Speaking of racy, uh, what you decide to do on that Mercedes, John? Um, oh yeah, yeah we'll the I'm, headlights. Do we put headlights on there? We clapped hours. I've got it all painted up. I'm or I'm sorry, I've got it all masked up. Um, so I'm I'm not that much farther along, but I've whatever. I've got it all masked up, off, ready to paint. But um, I don't really have much to show. I'm going to, um, if you Google it, I'm going to do the something very similar to the Bilstein AMG GT3. Ooh, or see. AMG, yeah, the, yeah, the Bilstein uh, livery on the AMG GT3. So it's a, it'll the primary color is going to be the bright blue. Ooh, uh, nice. With yellow accent. Oh wow. And are, are, are you are you gonna do the yellow fogs and you know the yellow lights and stuff? Uh, I don't think so. No, I'm not oh, gonna go. Come on. <laughs> so you've already found it. Yeah. Then the in the in the real livery, it's they tinted all of the lenses yellow, which I don't really like the look of. But if I I don't have the decals either, like I have none of the Bilstein decals, so I'm not gonna be able to do it that way. But um, whatever, I'm just gonna do the blue with with yellow. Nice, but I mean, yeah, nice. Yeah, but I I love the headlights. <laughs> yeah, they're yellow, see, that they're track yellow right good. now. I looked it up. They're yellow right now, so <laughs> take it in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> cool. Nice. I like the way it looks. I looked it up on Google just now. Yeah, it won't be quite that nice, but uh, it'll be in that kind of theme. So the colors will look like my Bagheera because I went with the bright blue for mine. The fat fox instead of the dark blue. Yeah. Bill Kors, he says he wants the TB03 chassis from Tamiya. 
So I, I, I hey, yeah. hey, Tank, and, and speaking of Volkswagen buses, um, and since you, you, you know a lot about Tamaya, isn't there one where they share the same, the same platform with the Wild Willy? Yeah, I know yeah. there's like an off road, uh, bus. Yeah. Right? yeah, I can show you that one in a little minute. Yeah, I'd rather go with that one instead, <laughs> it'll be much funner. Oh, yeah. But uh, here's the, uh, they're saying that the TBO3 VSDS chassis is worth $724 just for the chassis. This is nuts. Oh, wow. So this is the other one that uh, Phil C wants, which is the TBO3 chassis. I don't know what's special. Okay, that's the one that has the shocks this way. Mm. I don't know if there's anything special in that chassis other than the shocks. That's a different way of putting the shocks, that's for sure. Yeah, it is. So what are you putting that Ford body on, John? Slash. Oh, okay. So let's go see the monster truck. Let's go see the truck he's talking about, which is the camper truck, which is the yeah, yeah. four-wheel drive. Okay, trucks. And, and here's the thing. Um, I was in between that one and the lunchbox. And I just bought the lunchbox. Because I should have gotten one. Lunchbox? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, we have one that looks like a short course truck. Hmm. There's the one Tony doesn't like. It's so expensive. Still don't like it. <laughs> you have the, the bus. Super, the super clod. I like mm -hmm. the super clod. What is that green one there? You see one mm -hmm. of the heads in this. It, you'll see it in the show off on mm -hmm. Bill Seven. One of them. Yeah. He died on the bottom. That he did. He changed the dyna head up a lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, it'll be in the, the video tomorrow. Huh. There it is. Oh, you're putting out a video tomorrow for the build off? Yeah, so we could start the uh, build off eight. Here, John, okay, you can get yeah. this one, John. I yes, I I think I go. would almost rather have that. Except yeah, for that I looks awesome. I don't know that they're making that anymore. The Wheelie King, um, yeah, the Wheelie King Volkswagen. Really custom version, yeah. I mean, I wanted that back in the '80s when it was original. Pretty cool. Hey, Tank, I don't know if uh, maybe the location may be a factor, but can you check if the, the Tamaya Mountain Rider is available? The if it is, rider? oh, my God, I'm going to have a heart attack. Yeah, the Tamaya Mountain don't Rider. Look don't look it up. Don't look it up. We don't want a heart don't. attack here. <laughs> no, I, I, I've been wanting one, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is directly from Tamaya's site. I just Girl, see that's that's a truggy in there. I just seen it. You just passed it up. Right there. It's right there. Yeah, that's yeah, what passed oh, this it. one. Oh, right. I like that tractor. That Maserati, it's coming in Ferrari. May. What was it again? It'll be available in May. Nine hundred dollars. Oh. How much? Nine twenty-two. God, that and that price just doesn't go down, man. Yeah, but everything is metal, eh? The drive train, yes. everything is metal. All the drive shaft. Mm -hmm. Chassis, there's no there's plastic. Everything is metal in there. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. And see, I mean, I've got the Avante, okay, but I've always been drooling with this freaking truck, man. I know it's all and, metal. It's a three-speed three, transmission. It's got the three-speed transmission. Mm -hmm. so it's a re-release of the old truck. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It's got wicked yeah. locking discs on the front. You actually lock them on the tires. Yeah. Um, if you guys follow uh, Mateo's RC videos, mm -hmm. um, he did an awesome job, you know, running his and uh, also um, RC tanks 24 uh, seven. Yeah. He actually has one as well. And the thing that I, I really enjoyed was uh, when he was building the transmission, you know, every single thing, you know, the, the, all the pins and the shafts and the gears. And he did a clone one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a re-release, a uh, mountain rider. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed uh, how he did it. And it was, uh, I mean, it was it awesome. Was, it wasn't made by Tamiya. It's a, a clone. A Chinese a company makes it. Yeah. Knockoff. No, 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 no. no. It, it's a genuine, uh, well, w which channel? Steve uh, from RC uh, Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Yeah. It's from Banggood, right? Yeah. No, no, no. If you go further down, like in the history of his all his videos, it's a it's a genuine Tamaya. Really, it's got the old one. Yes. Well, not the old one. It's a re-release uh, oh. Tamaya. Cool. And if uh, Tank can help me here, if if he if he wants to, right? But yes, if you Google, well, not Google, if you YouTube Tamaya Mountain Rider, you'll see that. Uh, Thanks, uh, RC247 has one. Because, I mean, I've been drooling on that video that he made <laughs> when he's uh, showcasing it. And it, it was, you know, it was gorgeous. Didn't, didn't they have something called the Bruiser, too, that was the same? Yeah, those are blue. That's the one that got re-released, or got knocked off, I think, right, the Bruiser? Yeah, yeah. from uh, Gearbests and Banggood. Mm -hmm. Gearbest just did a full rebrand. They're way brighter now. Yeah, they did. With Bright the smile, smiley face. Well, and they're all uh, Walmarty. Yeah. So Mateo's <laughs> RC has one, and there's RC Tanks and Trucks has one. That's his build. See, yeah, there you go. Told you guys. Eh, we still don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Three years ago, who was around? Three years Photoshop ago? tanks photoshopping it on the fly. Right. <laughs> to fast. Master OBS skills. Yeah, look, look, click on the one that says finished. That See, was the one I've been... six months ago. Buy them. There's Two the years ago. cruiser and mountaineer front mount. Six months ago. Now that's yeah, a mod. Now, check out this truck, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if you think the Avante is, you know, beautiful, no. Check out this one. I mean, if you I, don't think the Avante is beautiful, then what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I love this truck, man. Italian. You know? Move forward. Look at that thing. Oh, man. Did you hear me? And it's going to be it? available in May. Wow. All you gotta do is buy you one of those WPLs and put some lunchbox tires on it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you get the look. Right. But oh man, look at that. Gorgeous truck. Gabriel, do you know what Avante means in Italian? No, I don't. What is it? It means move forward. Oh. Move Ooh. forward. It's, it's a name of a plane that somebody set on YouTube. That's the only reason I know. Avante. Uh -huh. So is the Avante an all metal chassis too, or what? Why is it so special? Well, the uh, the, the, the yeah the Avante. First of all, it's the price tag. Second of all, it's a <laughs> it's a race inspired chassis. Okay. Um, when it came out in '88, you know it was a you know, big thing with that carbon fiber chassis and the, okay. uh, the mortar and. Where the shocks and all that, and, you know, it was the ultimate RC, you know, back in the day. So that's why it was uh, so special. But now it's just a vintage vehicle that you just look yeah. at for hours, and you know, <laughs> that's about it, really. Because I mean, I have no intentions of running mine anytime soon. It's so expensive. So. You wouldn't send so yes, Steve. thank you, Tank. Thank you, thank you for letting me <laughs> send see Steve that truck. I... Running in the snow. No, he wants to let me ride the Avante. And actually, um, if I can, Steve, if you want to showcase it on your channel, then I'll send it to you. Just send me the win. <laughs> oh, you have to insure that for a lot. Get expensive, man. No, actually, I mean, I would just, you know, ship them with a car with no receiver. And I'll probably take out the mortar. <laughs> so I got receivers. Run it. I got receivers. <laughs> no, and then uh, another thing, if you run it, uh, that that body doesn't have any backing. I didn't back it up. 
So if you run it, if you crash it, you know, the body will flick off. I wouldn't do that. <clears throat> so that's another reason why I don't run it. <laughs> yeah, right. You want me to back that up for you? I got spray paint. Uh, well, the thing is, you know, the where the where the driver sits, that's going to be a... What are we seeing here? Nitro 8? Uh, no, 1 8 Pro Light Buggy Electric. Yeah. That was the track where I was racing the trailer race. It's closed down now. It's too bad. It was a fun track. They had a wall that you climbed. I like up. a wall ride, yeah. I haven't experienced a wall ride yet. They okay. always have those wall rides at it's the easy. indoor track. So there it is, okay. the wall at the end there. Speaking of wall oh, rides, wow. I sent you a invite, John, on uh, BRC Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't Might actually get a chance to race you one of these days. Of course, you'll probably whoop my butt, but I got. <laughs> well, I haven't race one of these so... days. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try and I'll try and join in at some point. <laughs> I don't get on very much. I should do it more often. No, me either. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been on in a long time. I was in a I, bad mood the other day, and I got on, and every lap was worse than the one before. I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to yeah. call it. <laughs> I should, though. I should get on there and be be practicing on for on-roads for nationals, getting yeah. real time. I guess that'd be my way to learn how to set up things, but I just don't know what to tweak when it comes no. to yeah, stuff no, like no, that. Good. It's like kind of lucked out with that with that used Tamiya TRF four nineteen that I bought. Like I am perfectly happy with the setup that it came to me in. Like I don't even know what's in the diff. I don't know what's in the shocks, but it handles well to me, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Because I know that if I start tweaking it, I'm going to make it worse. Yeah, I try to document everything. I have spreadsheets for every car. So if I break a part, I have the date that it broke. So I didn't realize if something broke more than once, it's the same part all the time. I need to change something. Or if I rent something, I have everything in that spreadsheet. I try to keep a record of all of my cars. So That's I know a good idea. I, you know. That's a good idea. Because, yeah, it gets to the point where once you get a couple of race cars going, it's like, what? What's in that diff? What's yeah. in there, these shocks? Yeah. 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 How many shims did I put under this thing? Exactly. And see, best thing to do there, so gentlemen. That's why you, you need the a setup sheet. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Setup no, no. I mean, in, in my opinion, and this is what I do, actually, and you guys are going to say, you know, you're nuts. But uh, You're nuts. If I, <laughs> if I break something, I fix it He's right nuts. there and then. Doesn't matter the time, the hour, I fix it right there and then. Well, considering how many cars you have, that's awesome. But I only have a handful, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. And and see, and the reason the reason why I do that is because of that same situation. Because if like for example, if I yeah. start breaking stuff and just, you know, neglecting them and, you know, running other RCs, then I will forget, you know, oh I forgot I broke this one or I forgot I broke that yeah. one and yeah, you, know you know charge I mean? the so, battery and put it in there, and you take it out to where you're going, and realize, oh like, yeah, this one's oh, broken. What was oh, I yeah, doing? I broke that a month ago. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if, if I break something, I mean, my whole attention is, you know, to fix the issue, and you know, once she's, you know, up and running again, you know, she'll be shelved again. So, but I mean, that's just my way of thinking, really. Yeah, and and you see, it's funny because um, if you guys follow. Uh, my channel when i fixed the glamosphere i just sent it to axial and i didn't get a chance to tune it and tweak it and when he ran it i mean uh the the tire you know came apart and uh, he was all freaking out and stuff and i told him no worries and uh, once i got it here um you know i went through every single component and as you can see you know it it, it stood up to uh, steve's bashing so I'm, all, all I'm saying is, you know, one down, three more people to go because we still got Axial. We got uh, JD Paso left their Axial, and we got Bulgy RC, uh, RC videos running at last. That's because uh, I denied uh, my buddy one to take the ramps out there. I was like, wait a minute, this one ain't mine. He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but, hey, man, I mean, if, if you would have ramped it, I, I wouldn't mind it. See it in the air, you know. 
but uh, I mean, and like I said, I, it's just a maintenance the vehicle right there and then. And, you know, once I know that if I want to run something, it's good to go. Is it better now, Tony? No. Can't yeah, what? Loosen, loosen up a wheel nut and see if it's uh, because may, you might be missing a shim behind your hex. It's just jamming. Well, I don't have the wheel wheels on. Okay, is it still hard to turn without the wheels? Yeah. There's definitely a catch point right there. Okay. Maybe you just need a bigger hammer. Disconnect the dry shaft. You'll know if it's not if it's only. Uh, I know what it is, Tony. Disconnect the dry shaft. Those those hardened bevel gears. There's they're notorious for having issues. I think if you go to uh, what's that? Um, it's too tight. Banger, what's the make guy that lives in Maine that builds the gigantic Yetis and uh, yeah, um, well, and, takes tool and puts them together. Yeah, he talks about he. If you send them to him, supposedly he'll grind a little bit of the metal out of the bevel gears because they're a little too tight. So they're really they really turn too hard. I think hmm. that might be your issue. Whatever it's called, the pinion sits into the bevel gears is too tight. You should really disconnect your your shaft from that differential to actually to see that. what what's That'd going on there. It's actually, not a bad idea. Too. But that is a common problem now that you're now that I was thinking about but it. That's the XL the one. are a little bit sloppy. I, I think thought... he just takes a file and files a little bit of the metal out of each tooth. Hmm. Steve asked if you shimmed anything. But actually, this is a new RC to you, right, Tony? Yeah. Well, yeah. so, I mean, I made it. So I bought... I wonder if it's in the... Um... Center dip? Transmission. And no, now that you disconnected, is it still loose? That seems to go pretty good on its own. What about on the other end of the dip? Still there? Is the catch still there? The what? Is it still catching? No. It's not. Nice. So maybe it's, it's the back. Isolated. It's okay. Hmm. Maybe after time it'll wear in too. Did that bind go away or no? Yeah, the bind went away. So it's your shaft. The shaft is, is it's catching on something. It, it's binding. I've had that issue with my SDX10. Now, was your shaft in phase or out of phase? Because that might be an issue also. Come again? Was your shaft in phase? Turning. In other words, when you put your shaft together, it has to be the, uh, you know, you have a knuckle, but it has to be the same way at the other end in the knuckle to be in phase. Also, that's what you call it. Huh. Okay. What has, which parts have to be in phase? The two. Well, the, the, Both you, drive you, shaft. when you put them together. Oh, the knuckle. The knuckle. Yeah, they're, in has, they're in phase. Yeah. They have to be exactly the same angle. Yeah, that that's phase. They're all at the furthest one. Make the axles chatter pretty bad. Uh, yeah. And and hey, look, if you want, look, take out the entire shaft and mess with it. You know, go up and down on it and turn it. If you find any binding on it, that's when you know you'll have a a bad shaft. Or how Tank said, you know, the phase, which to me that's new to me, to be honest. Well, he's talking about the knuckles that rotate the wheels, right? The knuckles on the side? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm talking about the shaft. Then, look, shaft. remove the whole, the entire shaft. Uh huh. And then just, uh, you know, have have it at an angle, like where the how you have it positioned from the transmission to the to the diff. Yeah. Then turn it. If you find any binding on the on the shaft. Then that that shaft is no longer good, and I mean I can show you because like I I've went through many 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 shafts. And actually, I have one handy. Give me a second. Look, I don't know if you can see me, but if you do this, like this, 
like that. And if it if it binds somewhere, like the then your, your chef is green? yes. And if it binds somewhere, then your your chef is no good. Like this one's no good. <laughs> These were fifty dollars, man. Can you believe it? Fifty dollars chef. So your chef's no good, Gabriel. Oh my! Well, my <laughs> actual <laughs> chef is. That, that's what she said. Right. <laughs> That's what I was laughing about when you said you pull the shaft out and yeah. move it up and down or something. <laughs> I'm real proud of myself keeping my mouth shut tonight on a lot of things. <laughs> so I have a video on my, on my YouTube channel that I found somewhere and I put it there. And it's about... Uh, the output and being in phase and out of phase. So when this knuckle is out of phase with this knuckle, it, it is going to give you a big difference of the speed of, of how fast it turns. Now, right now, everything is turning the same speed. But as soon as you put an angle on it, as soon as you put an angle on it, everything's going to start spinning at different speed. And if it's too much of an angle, then you're really screwed. That's why you got to be careful how you put your 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 dry shaft and your uh, uh, see this one here is kind of going vroom vroom. Then he puts the card on it, and you really hear the difference of the sound. And that's what I've been meaning to say in other words. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you were talking about that the, base. The the tank is the too technical, man. I mean, no, sorry. He's the, He's the he's the he's the god of. Well, I was uh, noticing the same stuff. thing that Tony's dealing with on my mini A, except it wasn't binding as much. So I was thinking about pulling my diffs apart and checking fluids and stuff, but I don't think that's the case with Tony's truck. Holy cow! Look at the angle he's gonna do there. Ouch! This is pretty serious. So now he's got the same angle. This angle here is exactly the same angle as the other end. And now the sound is exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, wow. And because of that reason, I went through so many shafts. Yes, that's what she said. And now he's going to turn it a little bit. See, now he's turning the knuckle just a little bit here. And now it's out of phase of the other one on the other side. And now it's really going to be screwy. Like if you were to hear it, it goes vroom, vroom. I put a link in the in the description if you guys want to go see it in the chat. It's it's really interesting. It's 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 an interesting little video. And it I've is, man. Before, and, and and I probably the... sent it by you, Tank. Pardon me. It's on your Facebook page or something. Say so I've seen this before, but I would never search it myself. So it must have been something you'd posted. Yeah. Just like the saying, man, you know, you learn something new every day. So, so are thanks, for, thanks for that, exactly Tank. That was awesome. Are the U joints supposed to look exactly the same on either end, or are they like opposite 180 degrees? No, something? they have to be exactly the same. So when you're putting your dry shaft together, your knuckles has to be exactly the same. Okay. And also, when you put an angle, when you put an angle on your dry shaft, you, even though your dry shaft is at an angle. Your input shaft and your output shaft should be uh, parallel. So even if it's like this, doesn't matter how much curve you have, but your input and output shaft should be always the same. Okay. So when you're doing your monster truck or anything, and when, when the suspension goes up and down, and when you're setting up your uh, links on your car, uh, that's why you got to make sure when you're setting up your links that it's, it's longer or shorter. Make sure that the shaft is exactly the same uh, the same direction as your output. So by making this link longer or even the bottom one longer, you can actually tilt it up or down. That's why a lot of people sometimes they, they just put it straight and then they have the output. Well, that's going to cause your car to actually go, vroom. it's going to give like a jerk. It's going to go like that, and then it's going to sound weird, and people are going to say, well, how come it does that? Well, because your shaft has to be the same angle. Wow. So does that 
apply to drive shafts as well, like axle drive shafts, because the Traxxas ones are are a similar style where it's a U joint on either end, and yeah. you can pull them completely apart, and you could run them like out of phase. Does yeah. it matter for that? Yeah. yeah. I put I did that on my Terra Sport kit and it was uh, vibrating. I couldn't figure out why it was vibrating, but the drive shafts have two dots on them. Yeah, they're little dots. Line them up, and then yeah. it smoothed it out. Hmm. That's an, that was for the center drive shaft you're talking though, right, Steve? Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because I'm thinking like on a on a, like a slash four by four that the actual axles. Yeah. Are. Like you could run them out of phase, the axles. Yeah, I could show you, but yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay. on the dry shaft itself, yeah. right near the knuckle, there's a little um, little dot or little notch on it that sticks up. You got to match the two notch together because those axles, you can actually turn them around. You can put them like six six different spots. Yeah, you and I've always just stuck them together haphazardly. I've never made sure that they were aligned. Okay, you got to make sure they're aligned, or else you're gonna get a jerkiness out of them. Oh, I should you go check all mine? Cause yeah, I'm sure they're all in a whack. <laughs> the tank is the man. Look at that, man. <laughs> That's why you're snapping so many. Well, and and, <laughs> and here's the thing: when 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 I uh when I uh lifted my uh, my Honcho SCX10, I went through so many shafts because of that. Because you know, I I lifted mine so so damn tall that. You know, I was just breaking shafts left and right. So we kind of had to lower it a little bit. And we got to a point where, yeah, I mean, the, the shafts were working properly. And, you know, and till this day, she's still running strong. So, but I didn't know there was an actual terminology and, you know, a whole science behind, you know, how a shaft should work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that's what she said case people want to <laughs> so uh wow so yeah man good stuff tank typing up a story scott What's that you're typing up the story yeah <laughs> i'm typing oh, his, there. typing his <laughs> rc diary <laughs> your diary today i learned about chefs <laughs> <Today. laughs> <laughs> Get ready to head in. I've been out all morning. Oh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm fading. I gotta go to bed. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm good. Well, cool. Well, hopefully this was helpful to a lot of people here tonight. Yes. Um, oh, you blew my mind the shafts thing. We're gonna have to check all my axles. And <laughs> and if I can say a man, run of applause, really. I mean, that was a great great info. Well, thanks for everybody that showed up. Uh, we'll do a roundtable good, good night to uh, everybody, and we'll start uh, with Green Frog RC. See you guys. Have a good night. See you later. Thanks for coming, John. Yep. Thanks for watching. Good night, everyone. RC Basher Boy RC. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Scottzilla. Had a good time. Catch you guys next time. Steve OD from the 613. Oh, 313. Sorry. <laughs> you know you. <laughs> We're from the 613. Yes. Yeah, we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. Tony. See you guys. Thanks for jumping in. I appreciate it. And me. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video on your way out. We appreciate it. It really helps out. And uh, we'll see you next week on RC Talk. And um, if you want, you'll probably see me tomorrow night on Steve O'Dee's channel. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for dropping in. Later.